Hey, Bomber, what's for lunch? Fish. And chips? In salad. How come you never cook chips? Save me from cholesterol. Yeah, but chips goes with fish, just like tomato sauce goes with meat pies. Just like fat goes with a heart attack. Yeah, but there's fat in the fish and the batter and those burgers you cooked yesterday. So, uh, what's your problem with chips? Are you a food snob? Or, or, or the big question, Bomber, did you have a bad experience with a chip in your past? <laughs> <laughs> you broke the record! 38 seconds. <laughs> you set me up. You had four minutes and 22 seconds uh, remaining. They gave me five minutes for you to throw <laughs> something. And I'm good. Bomber by name, bomber by next year. What's going on? Ah, uh, Bomber was just teaching Spider how to juggle eggs. At the gash, is it Bomber? Yes, Buffer. Good. Since you guys like throwing stuff at each other so much, we'll have that up on deck now. Drill in two minutes. Yes, Buff. Right. Hey, this exercise is designed to hone the skills of the boarding party when faced with a non-compliant FFV. Swaino, Bomber, RO, you're my fisherman. You'll be on board the FFV. As the boarding party approaches, you defend yourselves with this. You are to offer passive resistance only, OK? No weapons and no violence. If the XO or myself call out your name, you're out. This is an exercise only, OK? So don't get carried away. Any questions? Yeah, Buff, have I got time to get some rubber gloves? I don't want to touch that. No, you don't. Buff, go go to the toilet. Let's go. It's softer than the stuff the normal throw us. Exo to buffer boarding party on approach. Roger that. Fisherman, stand by. OK, buffer, here we come. All right, let's get it. Righto, in your own time. Get him, get him, get him hard. Get out of it, Navy. Get your balls up, sir. Put your balls up. Get away, I'm Navy. Get out front. of the front, boys. <laughs> Spider, this is for you. Put the balls. Get that pole in, Bomber. That's off, Navy. Get that pole in. Get that pole in. Play! going in. Boarding. Ma'am. Step back. Ma'am, put down the weapon. I mean it, ma'am. Put the weapon down. Now step away from the cauliflower. It's a broccoli, you idiot. Turn around, please. Put your hands behind your back, ma'am. I dropped it if it was a chip. Bomb! Look. There's a chip on your shoulder. Chippy chip chip chip. Hey, 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 hey! What's going on? Right, our exercise is over! You in the rib now! What did I say? No contact, no violence. What the hell were you thinking? 
If Swaino and I hadn't have grabbed him, he'd have gone overboard and you'd be up on disciplinary charges. I'm really sorry. But it was just a push. Sometimes I have a bit of a short fuse. I don't care how you dress it up. You've got a serious problem with your temper. Yes, Buffer. What did he say to you? Spider that made you go him? Nothing. I'll be discussing this incident with the Swain and XO before I decide whether to lay charges. What? Buffer, I'll do anything. If I had my way, you'd be off this boat right now. There is no room on boats for people with a short fuse. You're a liability. I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. No, it won't. I suppose everyone's talking about me. Oh, that's a part where you're supposed to say that they're not. No, oh, don't do nice. You could try Nikki. Actually, I prefer honest. I heard what Spider said to you on the boat. He was teasing you about chips again. What is it with you and chips? Every time I take a new posting, it's the same thing. People trying it on with me. Ro, I just want to do my job, fit in. Nobody likes me, do they? No, nobody likes a temper. Have you ever tried nice? I'll stick with honest. You're gonna be fine. Really? Yeah. You're a good cook. I thought the charge was stabbed. Did they hit him over the head as well, boss? Go ahead. He's doing Tai Chi. Yeah, yeah. And if you were doing it, I wouldn't be asking, but it's the charge. The charge is fine. He's been given a clean bill of health. Sir. Right. And he'll be getting a citation for his bravery. Yes, right. I just got a call from Coast Watch. They've spotted two men adrift in a tinny 12 miles north of us. Gosh, out here. Yeah, one of them signaling the plane, the other one doesn't appear to be moving. Nav, plot this. Yes, sir. Starboard 10, steer 020. Starboard 10, steer 020. Do you hear their navigator speaking? We're altering course to investigate a small boat who appears to be in distress. Stand by to recover by sea boat. Any song? Where do you think they'd come from? Oh, no idea. Oh, sir, we're coming up on the coordinates. Anything on radar? I've hooked a possible contact, which might tie in, but our oh, tinny's so small, it's hard to pull out of the clutter. Boss? I have the tinny visual, green two zero. Great, X. Let's get the sea boat in the water. Nav, where's sea boat? Wow. Spider, I'm so sorry. I really. It's fine, really. Can you just hit me or something and we'd be even? I don't hit people. <laughs> Stuff you then. Spider, come on. Hey, Buffer. Do you need an extra hand? Nah. Boys is down. Ready in the sea boat. Boys is down. Ready in the sea boat. Carry on the sea boat. Get them off me! Get them off me! They're crawling off me! Get 
them off. Just calm down, down, please. Get them off me. Get them off me. Get them off. Help. Get them off. Sam. You all right, Swano? Hey, sit down there. Sit down there. Yes, mate. Yes. Sit down. Sit down. Calm down. You're safe, mate. You're safe. All right, let's get him out of here. All right, hold it. Right on, let's go. They got so thirsty they started drinking salt water. Ooh, that stuff will send you mad. Yeah, it sounds like it nearly did. What's Swaino say? He says they'll be fine once he gets them rehydrated. How'd they get out here? Well, they anchored next to a coral reef and then they took their tinny off to go diving. They go diving, they come up and they see their boat motoring away from them. Did they see who took her? No, and no sign of the boat that brought the thieves. Well, this would be the third taken in the last two months. The boat didn't see which direction their boat was heading. Yeah, southeast. Come to southeast now. We're coming up on Truman Island. Doesn't some uh, rich bloke own the whole thing? Yeah, Ray Walsman. We evacuated him some time back from the Samuel Islands. Is that right? You were off getting your dolphins at the time. Or at least you were supposed to be. God, I miss the submarines. Nice bloke. Except we should drop in if we were passing by. Ice front. Now, if these boat thieves have held to their same course, we would have passed right through here. He might have seen something. Or he might have been target himself. You want me to radio him, sir? Uh, no. Buffer, organise a shore party. Sorted, boss. Oh, take bomber. Use her or lose a buff. She's no good as decoration. Stay here and behave. Where are you going? Say hello. She's way out of your league. Nice to see you again. What brings you to this neck of the woods? We're following a stolen boat. I wondered if you'd seen any vessels come past your island. Yeah. Nice to see you. Good to see you, sir. Well, you haven't got a phone on this fancy new boat of yours? No, it's all right. I mean, you wanted to have a sticky beak at my secret hideaway, didn't you? And that's OK. Come on, let me show you around. No point having it if you can't show it off to me. Hey there. I'm Mum Billy. I can a spider. Hey, nice to meet you too. You won't get very far if you give up that easily. <coughs> that doesn't sound very good. No, but it gets me out of study. By uni. Your stock's just went up 10 points. No, year 12. What, so you do skill from here? By correspondence. Nice. No teachers, no classes, no detention. <laughs> no fun, no friends, nowhere to go out on the weekend. Must be pretty cool living on an island, though. <laughs> Try being here six months. It's a long way from anywhere. Yeah, but um, you've got, like, uh, palm trees and sand and water. Mm -hmm. um, stunningly beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't seen anything pass by. Not that we'd necessarily notice. Might be worth keeping an eye out. There's been an increase in boat thefts along this part of the coast. You may become a target. Yeah, well, don't worry about me, Captain. I've got security. Any unwelcome guests who turn up here might find they've bitten off more than they can chew. Besides, my boat's in Cairns picking up supplies. Be there for a week. 
So, um, do you ever get to port? Sometimes. Thanks. Um, because I've got this concert on this weekend. I'd love to go. Cool. Oh, but I won't be back on the mainland till my exams are over. Well, maybe we could hook up then. I'd like that. Yeah, me too. Are you sure I can't offer you guys a drink? Oh, we better get after this boat, thieves. I can show you out. Is that your number? What are you doing? Dad, I'm just getting some sun. Catching pneumonia, more like. You've already got a cold. Go inside and do some study. Or what? You'll ground me? Nice to see you again, Mike. Likewise. Boss, I think I found her. Is that her? That's her. That's our boat. Can't raise them on the radio, sir. Keep trying. Tell them if they don't acknowledge, we'll board them. And drop me not ripped to NAVCOM so they know what's happening. No one on deck or at the wheel, boss. Warship Who's sailing her? Still not responding, sir. It's all right ahead. This is Australian warship Hammersley. Stop or heave to. I intend to board you. Buffer. X. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Assume damage control state three, condition voyage. X, I want you to lead this one and watch your back. We don't know how many there are. Sir. There is absolutely no indication of how this man died, sir. There is no injury, no bruising. Yeah, copy, X. Any identification? No, sir, no ID. Mm -hmm. He has on his arm what looks like a military services tattoo. Could be Russian. Yeah, it could be Russian. He's a well-built guy. Similar to the guys who stabbed charge, boss. Do you recognise him? I can't positively ID him, no, sir. If he is one of that team, what would they want with an old tub like that? You know, the bigger question is what happened to him. No oh, wounds, well, nothing. It's like he just stopped breathing. Did you hear that, sir? Affirmative. There's nothing more than we can do here. Okay, X, prepare the boat for tow. I'll inform the authorities. Copy that. It takes a long to stop one of these boys from breathing. Dead boat. On our boat. <laughs> oh man, that's karma for you. He pinches our boat, leaves us to die, and he's the one who gets it. You didn't see this man at all. Well, no way. Like we said, all we saw was our boat sailing away. So is the boat okay? Is there any damage or it doesn't appear to be. So we can go back on board. Oh mate, you're about to crime scene. 
We're towing your boat back to port for the police to investigate. Are you kidding? A man died on your boat. They'll want to know why. Sir, their ship's log and passports. So they are who they say they are. And they have been where they say they've been. How long till we're ready to tow? Uh, Spider and Buffer are setting it up now. They're about 10 minutes off. Do you want us to bring the body on board? No, the police want us to keep it in situ. And Bomber's bagging the body now, sir. Charge, congratulations on your goal. <sighs> Hardly brave getting yourself stabbed. You know, Charge, I never expected you to be a kind of Touchy kind of guy. Yeah, physio what? makes me do it. Physio? Yep. Not the shrink. What shrink? For relaxation post trauma. What trauma? Some idiot stabs me with a screwdriver and missed all the important bits. Engines are up and running, ready when you are, sir. Thanks. Hey, Charge. Body on the boat. How'd you like to take a look at ET's video? See if you recognise him. Sure. He's waiting. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. OK. <sighs> You're a bit shaky there, mate. No. No, I don't, I don't think so. And you don't recognise the boaties? No. Nah. Just saw them when they came on board. A couple of hippies. Nothing like these military guys. Right. Thanks, Judge. So what do we do now? Now? Mm. Nothing. We've got a dead thief, no way of tracking his mates, and a couple of boaties who picked an extremely unlucky time to go diving. Do we leave it to the police? Well, I can't see what else we can do. Although I would like to know what killed him. OK, Nav, we ready to start this tow? All set, sir. Sir, Nav, come on the line. We're heading straight back to Truman Mike's Island. Me. It's a medivac. Wellsman's daughter needs urgent transfer to hospital. I'll look after this row. What are you doing? Dropping the toe. Tidy that up, Spy. Dropping the... But I'm meant to be prepping lunch in ten. Too bad. Great. Now I'm going to be really popular. Tough. There's been a medivac. Ray Walsman's daughter's collapsed. What oh, golly, Walsman? What's wrong with her? I don't know. We're staying here as a steaming party. Well, Buff, could I swap with E.T.? Because he would love to be here. And I'm the second medic. If there's a medical... Oi! Oh, sh... You're both staying till the Hammersley gets back. Smells like a dead body to me. It's very ridiculous. The guy's been dead a while, right? Figures he'll start to decompose. He's not in the sun, he won't blow up for another 24 hours. What? Same as a dead cow. Carly will be fine. How do you know that? She's rich, things don't go wrong for rich people. Besides, Walsman's not going to let anything happen to this precious little girl. What? Spider! 
No, the body bag just moved. Spotted the bloke's dead. Bomber, he moved. All right, I swear he did. Already seen it. Better not be joking, Spider. Buff, I'm not kidding. Look, I moved. I'm telling you. <clears throat> He's brown bread. No, I saw him move. I swear I did, Buff. Bomber Brown? I didn't see anything. Well, something weird's going on on this boat. Don't you feel it? Like the shadows or something, they're moving. Buff, something happened to this guy. Well, why don't you figure out what while you help Bomber fix us something to eat? some infection in the blood, you just... Oh, I just had a cold. So you do know that that's only limited what we can do on board? Yeah, but you can get it to hospital. Yeah. No, Dad, you stay. I will... Darling, I'm going to be beside you all the way. You guys, you have to sort out the contract yourselves, all right? OK, come on, let's go. Captain X, we're heading down now, sir. I like what you've done with your overalls, Nev. What's this going to last for? What? It's you freezing me out. We're professionals, aren't we? Yeah, we're professionals. Oh, good. Well, then let's be just that. Professional. Look, no, I've got work to do, and so do you. Yes, ma'am. and drag you back. You ever see Jaws? Come on, hurry up. Get in the boat. Lots of nasties in there. <laughs> so, something you want to tell us? Rather tell the captain. All right, let's go. My boys tell me you're swimming for sure. Innocent men don't try to run away. What's going on? You know the dead man on your boat? No, we don't. You killed him, didn't you? We'll get to the bottom of this. One way or the other. Thank you, my sweetheart. We'll get you to the hospital. Mr. Walshman, the Navy has a helicopter on standby. It'll be deployed as soon as we're in range. How long? Five hours. Five hours? We're going as fast as we can without blowing an engine. That's my door. We'll do everything we can. He says she could die because of it, is that right? Well, if it goes untreated, it can be deadly. And all I can do is monitor and give her fluids. What she needs is IV antibiotics. But they can't do that till they take a blood sample. What? There's something weird with the blood pressure. Well, weird how? Well, if the infection had reached her heart, her blood BP should be really high, but it's not. In fact, if anything, it's low. Is there something else going on? I don't know. Oh, come on. Uh, just do what Fleet Medical tell you. So... How's your malpractice insurance? What? Oh, I'm guessing if anything happens to Daddy's little girl, Wellsman's going to take your house and your firstborn. Thanks, Robert. You hear about people who get buried alive. Are yeah, they in some sort of coma? When they wake up, it's too late. You're six feet under. 
I thought stuffing was superstitious. No. They've dug up coffins and found claw marks in the wood. People's fingernails scraping. And why would they dig them up? Maybe he's just paralyzed. You know, he's been given an injection or something. Like those medical stories, you know, you see them on TV. You know, people are given the wrong anesthetic, they feel the whole operation. So they can't scream, they can't talk, they can't move. Spider, if you're so sure he's alive, then check his pulse. I'm not touching the dead guy. Oh, right. You're the medic. I thought he wasn't dead. Spider, hmm? stay right where you are. Just relax, stay calm. Don't move a muscle. What? What are you talking about? There's a snake behind you. Yeah, good one. Just relax. Baba! Baba! That's all, I'm all starving. No. It's an eastern brown. They're deadly. If we don't move, it won't attack, I promise. We're fine. They're volatile, but not if we stay calm, okay? So just. <laughs> Anyone knows volatile? We've been trying to get to the radio, but. I'll, um. I'll see if we're still in portable range. Two, this is Bravo A2, over. The Par A2, this is Bravo A2, over. Aro, this is Buffer, this is an emergency. Do you hear me? Bravo A2, this is Par A2, what is your emergency, over? You knew all along how that bloke died. What are you talking about? Well, don't even try it. My crew found the snake. You're responsible for that man's death. He stole our boat. He should never have been on it. And what about my crew? You could have warned me. Instead, three of my sailors walked into a death trap. If anything happens to them, there'll be charges. Your crew? What? You said they found a snake. Let's just make a run for it. No way. Faster than you are, Spidey, you'll never make it. Bomber, we can't stay down here all day. No, you can't. It's not the only snake on board. What? Those boaties, they confessed. They've been smuggling them. Great. Where are they? That water container. Oh, oh, oh we got to get out of here. Stay still. Why the bag was moving. This place is crawling with them. Bomber, what do we do? I'm thinking. We we'll think quickly. Just relax. Is there something wrong? Will you tell me? We've taken your blood pressure every 10 minutes since we got back on the boat. That's perfectly normal. But you wouldn't be if you really did have bacterial endocarditis. And you're not showing any other symptoms. So you're not really sick, are you? I have no idea. I didn't think it'd be that big a deal. The dad would come. So what did you think? I just wanted one Saturday night on the mainland. And I know dad would be angry, but 
it'd be worth it to have one night as a normal person. You don't have to tell anyone. I can pay you lots. Dad gives me an allowance and I've got nowhere else to spend it. We can't do it, can't we? Please. I'm sorry. Nothing wrong with her. It's gotta be some kind of mistake. Look. You're a Navy medic. I want someone checking out my daughter who understands her condition. I want her on that chopper. The chopper's been called off. What? Mr. Walsman, there's nothing wrong with your daughter. She just wanted to get off that island. Are you trying to tell me that she's faking? Look, maybe she needs some friends of her own age, you know? Don't you dare tell me how to raise my daughter. That'll be all, thanks, Wayne. Mr. Walsman, you're right. What happens between you and your daughter, it's your business. But right now, the Navy's spending $10,000 an hour to get her to a hospital she doesn't need. And while we're off on this wild goose chase, I've got other members of my crew in a life-threatening situation, and we can't help them. I'll see that you and your daughter are comfortable until we dock in Cairns. From there, you can make your own arrangements to get back home. Supposed to grab them behind their necks. No, it makes it even easier for them to bite you. So what do we do, Bomber? You can't stay down here, Bomber. Okay, Spider, when I say go, yeah. you run to the stairs. Straight to the snake. It won't be there by then. Buff, your cap. You throw it off to the side. Snakes are easily distracted. They can't concentrate on two things at once. What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Are you sure you know what you're doing? You ready? You don't want to be late. Yep. Are they chips? It was never about the chips. What was it about then? Promise you won't tell anyone? Look, Ro, I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me. I don't do gossip. There was an accident back home with a fryer. I was cooking for the stockman. And kitchen burnt to the ground. Is that why you've been worried about using the dead fryer at sea? Sort of. One of the stockmen thought I was still in there. And? He went in after me and he got pretty badly burnt. And people blamed you? No. That's what I couldn't face. Their kindness. So you're on way to join the Navy? Yeah. Listen, look, we're all running from something. You're ahead. At least you know what you're running from. These disciplinary charges. Look, I want to know if I'm going to be suspended. You know what I don't get? 
how you can be the kind of person who loses the plot over something as stupid as chips, but then you're put in a real crisis and you remain totally calm. I don't want that first person on the Hammersley. The second person. I want her in my corner. Keep that temper in check. Thank you, Buff. Just happy you're still with us, mate. That's all. Signaling from NAVCOM, Coast Watch have detected a suspected illegal entry vessel. Come round to a course for this position now. Increase 1800. Port 10, steer 315, revolutions 1800. Port 10, steer 315, revolutions 1800. What's our ETA to this sea, isn't it? Uh, approximately two hours, sir. Course set You hear there, Captain speaking. We're altering course to intercept a CF. We'll go to boarding stations in approximately two hours' time. That's all. Boss got a radar contact. It's in about the right position for the CF. Bring us to boarding stations, Nav. Both ribs. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Assume damage control, state three condition voyage. Four boarding party required. Boss, something odd. Uh, the radar contact's gone. I just vanished off the screen. Have you checked your journey? Yes, sir. Last known position? Uh, right ahead, uh, seven miles. All right, listen up, team. We've lost the contact. Chances are she may have gone down. We could be looking for survivors or bodies. Hands to solar stations, Nav. Hands to solar stations, hands to solar stations. Boss? Got the vessel? Um, no. This is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. I count nine, ten civilians, men and women. They must be stuck out on a sand cake. Bro, inform Coastwatch. We've located a party of suspected unlawful non citizens, and we're preparing to recover by sea boat.
Sir, you? Move forward, please. Through there, please. Thank you. Stay there, please. Warm up. I've got him. Yes, sir. Please, this lady, she's not feeling so well. Okay, thank you. Move back. Move back. Exo! ET, I finished here. She's not feeling well, ma'am. Okay, do you want to come with me? You all right? I want you to put your hands up here, right? And just spread these legs for me. I've got something. Swaino? She's not well. Asthma puffer. You you have asthma? Asthma, see. Si. Yes? Well, if she needs it, she should keep it X. What happened to their boat? Uh, it was leaking before it left the harbour and then it hit a coral cay and sank. The crew? Only one, the skipper. He went down with the boat. What's the story on the survivors? Uh, one Filipina from Mindanao. There's a family group of five from Afghanistan and three ethnic Russians from Turkmenistan who competed in the Inter-Asian Games in Jakarta about three months back. Sir, uh, ma'am, Indonesian authorities confirmed that three Turkmenistani athletes defected. They'll be wanting refugee status. Uh, that's not a Navy matter. They can talk to immigration once we've handed them over. In the meantime, get them bedded down in austere. Yes, sir. Um, these are your toilet facilities. Okay. Um, these are your racks. Oh, beds. Sorry. Uh, and we'll be providing three meals Come a day. Come down. You can take my hand if you want. Just Make yourselves at home. It's all right. It's okay. No, it's okay. No, no, no. Put it in the dad. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Please, I, I don't understand what you're saying. Do you, do you speak any English? No puedo respirar. Okay. Uh, Bridge, uh, this is X. Uh, the Filipino girl, she's uh, quite stressed. And I can't understand what she's saying. Do we have anyone on board who speaks any uh, Tagalog or uh, Spanish? Stand by, X. Bro? Nine. <laughs> Nav? Well, I once got through in Spain on a phrase book, Italian, and waved my hands around a lot. <laughs> OK. Go down there and uh, see okay. if you can find out what the problem is and try and help out. Yes, sir. Go get him now. X Nav's on our way down to try and interpret. Copy that. Boss, I've had sangria before. Does that help? <laughs> Not enough Spanish buffer. It's okay. Can you breathe? <sighs> she's uh, she's a little bit edgy, so. Hola, um, me llamo Nikki Catano. Me llamo Anuncio Cortes. Hola. Um, español, sí, sí, sí. Um, uh, 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 You want me to speak español to the young lady? Oh, you speak Spanish? That way. Uh, 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 boss, charge. You tracking this? Yeah, I got it. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Put your weapon down. Put your weapon down. Put it down. Put your weapon 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 Put your gun on the floor. Now! <laughs> Kick it over. Now. Up the ladder. Out. Then close the hitch. I'm the only medic on this ship, and this girl needs my help. So, no, no, no. A dead girl won't need a medic. You don't need her. At least let me take her with me. The girl is now a hostage. Go! Go! Okay. You hear their captain speaking? We have a hostage situation underway in Austere. All personnel are to clear the lower decks. Plant room, engine room, and austere are strictly out of bounds until further notice. Stop this and end it! But you are not gonna get what you want! Shh. No talk. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey! Ex-captain. Put me onto the man holding him. 
Okay, my captain wants to speak with you. Yes. Move to the back. Your closed circuit TV is switched on? It's standard equipment. Switch it off. Switching it off now. What's going on? I don't know. There's three. How many weapons? They've got two. They've got mine. They've Buffer. Got Buffer to me. Three men. Two weapons. Two weapons. My name's Mike Flynn. I'm the captain of the ship. And you are? Yeah. Oh. You can call me Zan. OK, Zan. What seems to be the problem here, and how can we help sort it out? We're coming to the bridge to take control of the ship. I can't allow that. If I come up the ladder with your girl officer and a guy, you'll give me the bridge. You come up the ladder with my officer and a gun, you'll be a dead man. You make things hard. We should talk. On deck, now. And I don't believe you switched off the camera. You go on deck, sir, you give him another hostage. Security party close up lower decks at the rush and await further orders. ET, take the ship, bring us to slower head. I'm on radio if you need me, sir. Come down the ladder. We can talk below. There's a sick girl down there. My ship's medic says she's asthmatic. We need to get some medication to her. Nothing buys nothing, Captain. So what do you want? You will sail north to New Guinea. I'll tell you where. When we get close in shore, we'll take a Zodiac. We'll also take both women officers with us. Well, you know I can't agree to that. If we do not have hostages, you blow us out of the water, correct? Navy correct? Protocol would not let us do that. We have our rules, Zan. And you can take the Zodiac, but you can't take my officers. OK. Then no medication. The sick girl will die. Then others will die. So think again. And think fast. Close the hedge. Now! Mike, I've just had a word to camera about our possible options. Now, if these negotiations don't work, and the SAS can perform a ship underway takedown. Are you talking about SAS personnel coming on board and storming austere? If negotiations failed, yes. They have a unit exercising on oil rigs to your southwest. It's a Dolphin 3 platform. So you make best speed towards them, and if push comes to shove, we can insert them by helo. Well, sir, an SAS takedown will involve casualties. They're trying to eliminate the hostage takers. Not the hostages, and that's the way it's going to be. In the meantime, you continue to isolate, contain, and negotiate. And keep me informed. Aye, aye, sir. That's the old 2,000-mile screwdriver. Commander wants to run this one from his desk. I'm sorry, sir. I'll take full responsibility. Right, he had no options. Let's just move on. We've got our orders. We rendezvous with the SAS, the Dolphin 3 platform. Swain, take over from me to the helm. Port 20, altering 225. Port 20, altering 225. In the meantime, we isolate and contain these hijackers. ET, I want you and Spider tooled up, Kevlar vests, guarding the door between Austere and the engine room. Let's Sir. go, at the rush. The ship changed course. Why? There could be any number of reasons. You tell me, then. Avoiding a coral reef, perhaps? These are dangerous waters.
Nikki, are you okay? I thought it was gonna break my neck. We're in the CEO's hands. We just have to trust that he has a strategy and be ready to move. Oh, we have a plan, something. We just want to keep our heads down. We'll just try and look after them. How is she? Oh, she's bad. We need to get help to her, right? We've got to persuade them. They seem pretty callous. Except maybe the younger one could be the weak link. Just keep her breathing calmly. your name? I'm Kate. Oh, come on, you must have a name. You know the girl has asthma. If she doesn't get medication, she could die. If she does, you'll be responsible. There's nothing I can do. There is. You can persuade him to let us get medication to her. You can help her live. Just think about it. Close. You can't do a damn thing but isolate and contain. We'll get our chance. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Blake should have taken the shot when they made their move. Yeah, and if he had missed, dead bodies everywhere. I would have killed him. Mark, the feds have just liaised with the Indonesian National Police on those three Turkmenistani defectors. The bodies of the real ones have just been found in shallow graves. If the real ones are dead, then who are our hijackers? Oh, the IMP don't know. But the real ones all had broken necks, so it means the people you're dealing with have all been trained to kill with their bare hands. The way they took hostages suggests military training. Permission for the ship underway takedown has just been cleared at the highest level. Just keep on your rendezvous point with the SAS. And the rendezvous point has just been confirmed at 27 nautical miles from the rig on a bearing of zero, two, zero. Thanks, sir. Nonsense, just keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. That's good. You, you, here. What's through here? There's a storeroom. If it's only a storeroom, why is the door handle missing? Because when we have guests, it's removed as a security measure. Where is the handle? It's not here. It's been locked away. And uh, through here, we have uh, what? You already know what's in there, don't you? Uh, the engine room, yes. die if we don't get medication no she's going to die because your captain refuses to cooperate and all we need is a <laughs> set the off <laughs> last one what do you reckon they're doing in there no idea who the hell are these people et i don't know we've seen a few of them blokes who step charge there you go in the snake boat. Same mob, you reckon? Military trained decent Europeans, it's a hell of a coincidence. Charlie 82, this is Viper 20, over. Viper 20, this is Hammersley. Reading you five by five. Go ahead. Hammersley, we are airborne and proceeding to the rendezvous coordinates. ETA approximately 1510. Over. Hammersley, copy. ETA 1510. What's your maximum time on station? Over. Our point of no return is 1530. Over. All understood. We'll be there. Out. All right, that gives us one and a half hours. All under control, sir. Revolution's 2000. 
solution is 200. Zero, zero, zero. Steer 230. Steer 230. Shut down the engines. Shutting down. Take the ship charge. The charge has the ship. Swain, buffer with me. Sir. Drop the weapon! Drop now. your weapon! Drop the 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 weapon! Buffer and I go in, get covering fire and get ET and Spider out. Any questions? Let's go. No one comes past this hatch. Keep breathing. Kill you. Now back! Please step back! I can't do that! Hey, T. Okay? You're fine. I'm gonna move forward. You cover me. Go! Done, sir. What's that, Charge? Sir. They're shutting us down. But auxiliary power should last us a few hours. Bro? Communications? It's all good, sir. You can flash a message to Navcom. They've penetrated both plant and engine rooms. Sir. Uh, Hamsley leading Sam and Dixon. Uh, well, not great, sir. They've penetrated the plant room sir. and the engine room. Firing up the engine. 
Can we have a ride then? No, sir. Now they've restored power to the lower deck. So we've only got an hour and 15 minutes to the rendezvous with the SAS. It's not going to work. Oh, of course. On this ship, aft steering is just a storeroom, huh? If you think I believe that, you think I believe anything, lady. No, what she means is it's not going to work because it's totally crazy. I know. I'm the navigator. The navigator? Good. You can navigate us to New Guinea. <laughs> Northeast. Yeah. Best no, speed. No, listen to me. We can steer the ship from here. We can use the compass repeat to set a course, but we won't really know where we're going. New Guinea is where we're going. No. You're not listening to me. Between here and New Guinea, there are islands, coral reef shoals, other ships, you name it. If you try and do this blindfolded, you're going to sink the ship. Your captain knows all this. That's why he'll cooperate. No, he, you don't know him. He's as stubborn as you are. Not so stubborn. He'll risk his ship. In the meantime, you steer. Altering course. They've got control of the ship. Update on our rendezvous, Swain. So the Black Hawk's absolute point of no return is still 15.30, so in order to make that rendezvous, we've got to turn back now. ET, the gyro compass. I want you to make small manual adjustments to it. So they head towards the SAS rendezvous? Exactly. And they'll still think they're heading towards New Guinea? That's right, Buff. Swain, torch. Now, not too quickly, ET. We don't want them to notice a change in direction. All over, boss. Zero. This is Hammersley. We've had some problems, but we're back on track. Revised rendezvous time is 15.20. Over. Hammersley, this is Viper Two Zero. That's very tight. Our point of no return is still 15.30. Over. Roger, Viper Two Zero. Understand. Out. We're going to do this. We're going to make this rendezvous. Oh, damn it. <coughs> You, go get your boss and tell him I want to see him. Now! <laughs> you just keep the pain going for me, truck in between and out through in your nose and out through your mouth for me, OK? OK, we, we have to do something. Oh, we do. But you have control. You have power. What is it going to cost you to save her life? Sure. Please! But the fight is between you and us, not you and her. She's an innocent civilian that's got caught up in all of this. At least give her a chance to live. Or do you have no honour? <laughs> Just keep breathing for me. I'm so sorry. Captain, down here. The girl is getting worse. So if we could just get her into the wardroom and get a nebulizer on her. We need her up here where we can treat her. Well, you can send the medicine down. Along with a chart and the handheld GPS. Did you hear that, Captain? Chart, handheld GPS, and medicine. On their way. You can organise that, Swain. So once he's got the chart and the GPS, he'll know we've reversed our course and our rendezvous will be screwed. Look, the only alternative is if we let the girl die. <sighs> Give him what he wants. I say.
How long to our rendezvous with the SAS? 32 minutes. Well, let's hope we get there before he figures out what we've done. Do you need me to show you how to use those? So now you want to help me. I just don't want to run the ship aground. A coral reef could tear our hull wide open, and then everyone's in trouble. You think I don't know about charts and GPS? Well, I think you're ex-Navy of some kind, so you may know. But you may not have used this particular piece of equipment before. been some recent upgrades. They may outdate your training, so I could show you. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. There is a reset system that you have to use before you even think about using it. Do I pause? Looks like you've been doing it your whole life. Close. Now leave me alone. I'm just trying to help. No. You were trying to slow me down. Stop it. Hey, T. All good, Buff? All good. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm stupid? No, anything but. Someone is playing games with the compass, yes? It's you. No. No. No, it's not you. I would have seen. So it's the captain on the bridge. Dan, I don't know what you're saying here. The compass is reading northeast, but the GPS shows us heading southwest. The reset system, did you try the reset? Oh, no more lies. No more lies. Captain! Back on course for New Guinea. Do it now! Viper 2 0, this is Hammersley. Over. This is Viper 2 0. With you in 23 minutes, Charlie A2. Over. Viper, we've had to alter course and can no longer make that rendezvous. Over. Charlie A2, we've already used up our safety margin. If you can't make the rendezvous, we'll have to abort. Over. Roger that, Viper. Abort, abort. Return to home plate. Out. Roger, Charlie A2. Now, whatever's happening there, good luck. Looks like we're on our own. Boss. This new course has us heading straight for a coral field. And it looks like a maze of reefs, shoals and atolls, but there is one channel running through it. Charge? Sir. Zan, Mike Flynn here. We have a problem. What the problem? We seem to be back on course. You have your chart and handheld GPS up and running? Yes, I do. Then you'll see that we're heading for a coral field. I also see there's a channel running through it. Look at the date when this area was last surveyed. 1850. 
These reefs have been growing since then. In half an hour, it'll be dark, and we've got no way of getting through that channel safely while the ship's being steered from below. So what are you proposing, Captain? We stick to the same course. We get you to New Guinea, but to do that safely, we need you to restore power to the bridge. That way we have radar and echo sounding. No way. Can I ask you why not? Because you keep lying to me, so I don't trust you. Well, trust me when I tell you that if we go into that channel under power and strike a reef, it'll rip our hull from stem to stern. You'll be killed along with everyone else. I will not give you back control. Swain, the current through that channel, it's running north. The set is north northeast, yeah. So. If we entered not under power. Cut the engine to drift. Yeah. Zan, I have a proposition. We enter the channel, you cut the engines, and we drift through with the current. Could it work? Hitting coral at speed would guarantee breaching our hull, allowing us to drift through with the current. Yeah, we could escape with superficial damage. You have a deal. Restore power to the bridge. In my shoes, would you? I'd never be in your shoes. Charge, sir. There you go, the ups. Get on that chart, Swain. What are you on the wood, sir? His word. Yes, his word. Here we go, Swain. Let's be getting a first line, sir. I'll be safe or swimming by then. So we're through the channel. You want to check? Without an echo sounder, I can't be sure. Yeah, I think we're through. Captain! We 
have two Vogs down here to say we're through the channel. That's why. I'd love to have power for the depth sounder, but you know, I think we're through. What's our ETA to Papua New Guinea? Oh, an hour, maybe. Would he know that? With a GPS and a chart, he has to, if he's halfway competent. Zan, we're agreed. We're through the channel. It's safe to restart the engines. Thank you. In 30 minutes, I'll require your port Zodiac fully fueled. So there will be no pursuit. Your lady officers will be coming with us. Did you hear that, Flynn? Yeah, I heard. And you agree? I agree. Charge, is the firefighting system still online? Yes, sir. OK. Here's plan A. And there is no plan B, so this has got to work. First of all, we're doing this to our timetable, not his. Nearly there. Then a little trip in the Zodiac. Can you kill us? That will depend on the circumstances. When we hit the beach, you should pray there is no ambush waiting. Captain, the situation on the Zodiac. The port rib's being fueled, but to get the rib in the water, you'll need to restore power to the upper deck. <laughs> I really admire the way you keep trying, Captain. No power. The crane can't launch the rib. So I will restore power to the engineer's console only. Throw your weapons. Watch my back. Team Bravo in position, boss. Captain Copy. How you going there, Charge? Yeah. All set here, sir. The X and the Nav will have a 40-second warning. Roger. It's risky, sir, but it's the only call you could have made. There are no other options. I'm counting on the fact that the X will anticipate my plan. Yeah, well, let's hope she's psychic. Charge. Standing by, sir. Activate the system. One fly. In the engine room. If you don't believe me, check it out yourself. Okay, now. Yeah. Now get in line down. Cover their faces. Close your eyes. Get everyone down. Cover their heads and get together. Close your eyes. Make sure this is covering your head. Yeah. It'll be all right. Oh. 
keep flushing. Sorry about the tear gas. I had no choice. No, there's no complaints here, boss. It's better than the CO2. <laughs> the take down the SAS we've been proud of, so... <laughs> Trust you. Storming in there like a white knight. No, that's my pleasure. Oh. Just remind me to return the favour one day. You bet. You bet. Oh. Systems back online, Charge? Yes, sir. And I've recharged the firefighting system with CO2. Good work. Well done, everyone. The team works. I'll take over, Swain. Aye, right, sir. Half ahead, both engines. Revolutions 1800. Half ahead, both engines. Revolutions 1800. On the bridge. Captain has the ship. That's an ice boat. Thank you. Yep, it's an ice boat. This is going to be a big catch. What's an ice boat? <laughs> Bomb. What? I'm from Majors. All we did was race track and drill. It's the uh, mothership for an illegal fishing fleet. Normally they just sit off the line in international waters where we can't touch them. Shark fins like gold, bomber. Makes them take risks. Give them another warning. Vessel on my port bow. This is Australian warship. You should stop or heave to, or I will open fire on you. You and me on first fighter, buddy up. Watch my back or watch yours. Yes, bub. So I put down the machete. So I drop the machete now. Porcupines! They put down their defences, sir. Pull the poles back in! Put them in! Pull the poles in now! Put them in! Tell them to maintain a safe distance. X-ray 2, this is Papa 82. Maintain a safe distance. Over. Run into one of those things in the river, we'll go right through. Yeah, shish kebab. Get your crew to pull those poles in! Make sure we get plenty of evidence, Swain. Why, sir? One precise round can take out a steering server and make them have a rethink pretty fast. Why stop at their steering? Look, if there's crew below, there could be casualties. Sir, flares? Drop the flare! Put it down, sir! Put the flare in the water! Incoming! Sir, we're coming up on the line. What? He crosses international waters, he gets away. No, that's why we've got evidence of him committing an offence in our territory. Sir, they got porcupine out, they got machetes and flares. Tell X to abandon the boarding. Today's not our day. X-ray A2, this is Papa A2. Abort, abort, abort. This is X-ray A2, Roger that out. Let's go! You can modify his tactics and succeed, may be called a heaven-born captain. Sorry, sir? Old Chinese saying. I just reckon he's one lucky son of a gun. Maybe. At least for now.
booked a cab? Yeah, booked a cab. You? Yeah. I thought I'm... But... Excuse me. Going anywhere interesting? Just dinner. Me too. I thought I might catch a movie out. Oh, this must be your cab. You look nice. Thank you. You too. McGregor. Bookings for McGregor. Oh. Jim? Kate? Pleased to meet you. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> You're not. You look lovely. Please. Thank you. I hope you don't mind, but I've taken the liberty in ordering some bubbles. Oh, that's great. I wasn't sure you'd come. <laughs> well, you didn't sound like an axe murderer on the phone. <laughs> they teach you that in human resources, do they? Oh, that's why they call it resources. <laughs> it's funny. What? You just don't strike me as the type. Well, you don't strike me as a chartered accountant. But looks can be deceptive. In a good way. Yeah. You're looking at me. Yeah, everything De Niro does He's is... He's a genius. Yeah. Except oh, Rocky, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle. <laughs> Fearless leaders are always hard to pull off. And what's that? It's a line from the film. Oh, I didn't quite make it through to the end. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm, it's good. Mm. It's good. I'm sorry I have to take this. Jim Roth. <sighs> sorry about that. Jim Roth. Mike Flynn. No commander, not interrupting anything. I see. Understand. Sure. Right. Unavoidable. Yes, sir. Send that through. Sorry. Half an hour. Work. Work? You're an accountant? Yeah. Look, I'm going to have to go. Excuse me? I'm going to have to go. You, you make me wait for half an hour and you have to go? Look, I've had a great night. Oh, good on you. I hope we can do it again sometime. Yeah, right. Thanks for dinner. Kate McGregor? Yeah, Kate, it's Mike. Bad news, I'm afraid. Good morning. Morning. So the Wollongong has done a turbo and we drew the short straw. Yeah, something like that. Cancelled leaves always hard on the crew. Yeah, harder on some than others. How was dinner? It was very pleasant, thank you. Yeah. And your movie? It didn't make it. Oh. Got caught up in a good book. Oh. So where's this SAS training team we're supposed to be transporting? Oh, some of them are here. The rest wouldn't be far behind. Well, they not look that tough. Mate, right, they're SAS. They could kill you with a pencil. Really? Huh? Cool. Once we've done the intros, Buffer, give them a quick tour. You know the drill. Hi, right, sir. This way, fellas. Welcome to Hemsley, gentlemen. Delighted to be here, Commander. This is my executive officer, Kate McGregor. Kate. Hi. It's a real pleasure. Hey. 
Yeah! Yes. You know, ET reckons those SAS dudes can kill you with a pencil. They use it to write down their innermost thoughts, then make you read it. <sighs> no, I'm only joking, they're good operators. More importantly, mate, I've spoken to the XO about your promotion. Yeah, and? She's taking it to the boss for consideration. Okay, what does that mean? Considering your performance of late, I'd say you're a shoe in for April soon. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Buff. Yeah, all right, don't thank me. Just keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. And, boss? Sir? What's this? LCD TV. I can see that. Where'd it come from? It came on board with all the SAS gear. Now, why would the SAS need a large screen TV? Training courses. Well, I thought it might have just said LCD on the box, sir, but really being some, like, high-tech classified electronic gear or something. Obviously not. Yeah, that, um... That came with it. It's a letter from Ray Walsman. From who? Ray Walsman, sir. Oh, thank you, sir, for um, helping out his daughter. How good is this, boss? Nice try, guys. It's going back. Boss. Boss. He'll know. Do I need to send you to a defence ethics refresher course? We do not accept gifts. And have it stored someplace. It's taking up half the mess. <laughs> yes, boss. Lower! Raise! Lower! Oh! Lower! Raise! It's like my sister's hen's night, but better. <laughs> Could you all be a little less obvious? Oh, X, come on. Lower. Oh. Captain. Lieutenant. Uh, I was hoping we could grab a coffee when you have a moment to run through a few things. Now is clearly a bad time. It's never a bad time for you, Kate. Thorn, take over. Lower. Three. Four. Raise! Pull! So, human resources. Very convincing, by the way. As a matter of fact, my job has a lot to do with human resources. <laughs> so, are we gonna have that coffee? No. So, there was another lie. Don't push the luck. My luck changed when I saw you on this ship. I don't know you mention it. You didn't look surprised at all. Excuse me. Jim, we should have you in San Marino on schedule. That's good. Thank you, sir. Latest intel suggests that the situation on the ground there is more stable. Oh, that's in the capital. Insurgents are regrouping in the hills. Where they're at the request of the government to train their local forces. Of course. Well, the last thing we or the French want to appear is colonialists. French? Well, the French are sending a peacekeeping force to protect their economic interests. You have been briefed on all this. We were crash sailed. Right. Well, I'm sure you'll bump into each other. No doubt. In the meantime, You've got everything you need? Absolutely, sir. Very good. Matter of fact, Kate was just about to shout me a coffee. You know, maybe some other time. You two know each other? No. Although you do remind me of a girl I once met in HR. Uncanny. Funny. You don't remind me of anyone. Excuse me, boss. Now it's got a suspected FFE on the scope. She said to tell you that it's a big one. Cheeky bloke's back again. Make yourself at home. So. What do we got, Papa? All right, boss. See all these markings down aft? Well, they're the brackets for the porcupine spikes. Is that him? Oh, yeah, that's him. Anything from radar, Neff? No, sir. He'd have no idea we're here. Good. Let's keep it that way. Come to slow ahead? Slow ahead, both engines? Slow ahead, both engines. What are you planning? Both engines slow, man. Very good. The minute he sees us, he'll run out those defences again, and we won't be able to touch him. But if we hang back until dark... Nev, what's the moon state tonight? Uh, new moon, sir. New moon. Got to get lucky sometimes. So we wait until dark, approach without lights. By the time he knows we're there, we'll be on top of him and he'll be ours. Oh, what about the SAS, sir? What about them? Uh, well, they're expecting to arrive in Samaru on schedule, sir. Well, I'm sure a slight delay in the interest of border security won't be a problem. Besides, they're guests on my ship. Um, so if you have a moment, there is something else that I'd like to discuss with you. Go ahead. I have met Captain Roth before. 
He was my date last night. It was an internet thing. Um, and get this, he lied on his profile and he said that he was an accountant. And you said you were in human resources? Well, yeah. Well, why are you telling me this, Ex? Because the night ended rather badly and there is some residual tension there and I thought that you should know about it. Well, by badly? What do you mean? Oh, no, nothing like that. It, it's just that he kept getting phone calls. Of course, I, I realise why now, but I didn't then and... So I did my block at him. But it was a one-off thing, and I've, I've already moved on. Right. Well, we shouldn't have a problem then. No. Excuse me, Lieutenant Commander. We seem to have slowed down. Yeah, we have. Is there a problem, sir? No. Actually, we've had a stroke of good fortune. Sir. An ice boat. You can see it on the EOD. So we're... Waiting for dark. We need the element of surprise. I'm sorry, sir, but no, we're not. I beg your pardon? My men and I need to be in Samaru. ASAP. Captain, taking out this ice boat will cause real pain to the illegal fishing industry. I'm afraid I don't care, sir. Well, I do. They're fish. You've been tasked to deliver us to Samaru. Which will happen in good time. No, sir. With respect, sir, it will happen ASAP. Well, your position has been noted. Thank you. Now, please leave my bridge. Excuse me, sir. Hammersley, Lieutenant McGregor speaking. Buffer, would you mind escorting Captain Roth from the bridge, please? Oh, uh, sir. Uh, yes, sir, they are both here, Buffer. Sir, it's Commander Marshall on the phone for you. Mike Flynn. Well, sir, an opportunity to capture a nice boat presented itself and... No, sir. No problem interpreting your order whatsoever. Yes, sir. Make full speed to Samaru Island. Boss. Surgical shock. It's all to take. Forget it, Buffer. Yes, sir. So have we made up for lost time? Almost. Mm. Good. So we're back on track then. Over the lift. Captain. And uh, better luck next time with that ice boat. Lieutenant Commander Flynn, I am Capitan de Fregat Josephine Durand. Welcome to the Samaru Islands. Thank you, ma'am. Please, call me Josephine. And uh, may I call you Mike? Yes, of course. Do you have everything you require? Yes, yes we do. Thank you. Bon. So, this is your Armadale class patrol boat. Yes, it is. Mm, impressive. Well, if you'd like the guided tour, I'm... Unfortunately, my time is not my own. But you and your crew will be at the reception tonight at the consulate? Oui? Oui, yes. Thank you. I will look forward to spending more time with you then. Insurgents. Or really bad drivers. <laughs> mm. 
Lieutenant Commander Flynn, this is the Interior Minister, Mr. Lawrence Siaku. Welcome back to Samaru, Lieutenant Commander. You have a beautiful country. It's a pleasure to visit. Excuse me. Of course, sir. There have been reports of a firefight in the hills. How accurate, we do not know. Today? Oui. Tell me, Mike, are you a family man? I beg your pardon? Do you have a wife? Children? No. Huh? Then you are married to the Navy. Like me? Well, I wouldn't go that far. But it can be a lonely life, though. At times. At times. Salute. Cheers. Okay, mate. Uh, just one life here, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, beer, light, uh, <laughs> silver plate, please. Je suis fier de mon cul quand je vois ta gueule. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't speak English. You reckon? Fais pas chier, bon hein. Ouais, t'as cassé. Now get the man a beer and one for me, aussi. Oui, madame. You speak French. Just high school, but enough to know what he was saying. Uh, which was? Voilà. Don't worry about it. Merci. Uh, what was he saying? He's rubbish full of himself. What, like how from the frogs are better than Aussies? Yeah, sort of. So I need to teach that guy some manners? Oh, yeah, and you'd be just the man to do that. Huh? Hmm. Don't get any dumb ideas. Hmm. I thought the boss said this was going back. Um, he did. But he also said to get it out of the way and the most efficient use of space was to bring it up on the bulkhead. Well, just as long as you're happy to put it all back when the time comes. Yeah, it's But what about the cocktail party? Oh, that was a fizzer. A fizzer? Yeah, fizzer. The only one that didn't look like getting like it was the boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. So how did you uh, escape from her? I uh, armed her off on the buffer. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander. Captain. Kate. A lovely surprise. In perfect timing. May I have the pleasure? Sure. Excuse us. Mike, I'd be delighted. dry blood on your neck. Oh, it's OK. It's not mine. I cut myself shaving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do I scare you, Mike? No, of course not. I have seen enough of life to know that we must make each moment count. Absolutely. The time we waste, we never get back. Seize the day. Oui. I wouldn't have thought dancing would be your style. You've got to mix it up a bit. Read the lie of the land. <laughs> when I was a young woman, I had a, how would you say, a, a maladie de coeur, a disease of the art. I survived, but many did not. Life is for living, Mike. Yes. But to really live takes great courage. <laughs> nice to see that smile. No, don't read anything into it. So I'm still in trouble, am I? Thank you, sir. 
Harbour Master's requesting that we expedite our departure ASAP. They do have a grain ship that's waiting for our berth. Tell them we'll do what we can. Yes, sir. Thanks, Nev. Where's the ex? Um, she's not on board, sir. Where is she? She said she had to go ashore to finalise some accounts. Accounts? Uh, boss? <laughs> Could you be a little less obvious? And thank you for this. Well, it's just something to remind you of me. Little Jim. <laughs> Little Jim. XO, <laughs> you're delaying our departure. Uh, sir, we weren't scheduled to Change leave. Change of plans. Make ready for sale. Yes, sir. Look, I'm sorry, sir. That's completely my fault. We've all got our jobs to do. Let's just get them done, Captain. So, the X and the SAS, Captain? Yes, mate. That is the word. What is that? Crocker Monsieur. Crocker what? Ham and cheese toast and singers. Oh, alright. So, the boss and Le Frog? They dance, that's uh, all. Uh, buff, sorry, I heard he got to second base. No way. That's what I heard. Buffar. Well, if you guys are going to skive off and miss all the action, that's the price you pay. See, that means he did. Here's the joke charge. They give us this big lecture about behaving ourselves whilst they're both off going for it. No one said the world was fair, E.T. Yeah, well, no one was wrong, charge. Touchy. You almost missed the bus, X. Technically, sir, uh, I wasn't late. Well, technically, I don't give a rat. What were you doing? I, uh, I went to settle some accounts. Oh, with your old mate, the accountant? We took on some fresh fruit and vegetables, and so I went to pay the suppliers. And you just happened to bump into Captain Roth? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did, and he offered me a lift, which is fortunate as things turned out, don't you think? Sir? Uh, it's Captain De Frigate Durand. Oh. Josephine. Yes. Uh, no. No, OK, I understand. I'll, uh, I'll look into it and let you know. My apologies. Some idiot nicked a French flag. No, Guy insulted our country. No, he didn't. What? He said your face made his bum look good. That's not what you told me. I didn't want you to get more upset. Good on you. I'm sorry. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's my prize, and I'm going to keep it. It's better where is it? It's Tell me where it is. It's almost safe. Do you hear it, Eric, though, speaking? It's been brought to our attention that a French flag went missing from the consulate last night. All right. <laughs> hear that? I'm a hero. This is nothing to be proud of. I want the flag placed on the desk in the ship's office in the next 10 minutes and no further action will be taken. Otherwise, the culprit or culprits will be in serious trouble. Your time starts now. Spider, quick, go. No go ahead. Spider, you heard what the ex said. She has to say that, okay? No one cares about a French flag. Oh, Don't worry about it, it'll go away. Your funeral. No flag, sir. We've done a search of the boat. I uh, need permission to conduct a locker search. Okay. You know, maybe our guys are innocent. I'd like to believe that, ex. Do you? No, but maybe they were smart enough not to bring it on board. Well, somehow I doubt that as well. Listen, hold off on the locker search. Maybe this will blow over. Okay. You know the crew are having a field day with your liaison, Captain Roth. Really? I've heard more circulating rumours about you and the Captain de Frigard, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Just a dance. Huh. You, on the other no, hand... No, you have no right to be... Oh, come on, No, it's okay. my private life. You and your discussing... private life is my business when it impacts on your ability to perform on this ship. You got a comment? No. It's just that there's... Go on. Being a fearless leader is always hard to pull off, sir. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. 
So we've picked up a suspected FFE on our radar. In international waters? No, it's on our side of the line. Right. Send the ship to boarding stations. Yes, sir. Hey, Buffy, you know this guy? Busted him a couple of times, ex. How you travelling, Buff? Better than you, mate. This your wife? She's pretty. Thank you. Tom, don't be cheeky. You're a long way from home, mate. So where are you taking this lot? That's for me to know, Buff. If I had your record, I'd be trying to score as many brownie points as I can to impress the magistrate. You sure he understands what he's saying? Ex, he speaks five different languages. English is probably his worst, but I reckon if he spent a little bit more time on his personal hygiene, he could be a UN translator. Is Buffer sure of this guy's information? As sure as he can be, sir. An ice boat rendezvous with those coordinates places them in our waters. Uh, we asked him if this was the ice boat that used the porcupine defences. Uh, he said he hadn't heard of it. But uh, I'm not convinced. I think you're right, X. It's less risk for him if he gives us a boat that he knows has an escape strategy. Exactly. So what do you want to do? We modify our tactics. You're hilarious. Oh, man, it is rank. Yeah, it's oh. rotting shark fin. What do you expect? Breathe through your mouth. I am. <laughs> I reckon he's more scared of the boys in the ice boat than us. Yeah, I don't know. You're caught in a vicious circle, aren't you, Tom? And we throw you in jail. Your masters look after your wife and kids, so you owe them. And when you get out and you get deported, it starts all over again. I spot. Come with us. This is a shark boat with our people. This is the ice boat approaching on schedule and the ribs here below their horizon. How far off are we? Six miles. Well, let's see if we can get anything on the yard. Okay. Be ready, Charge. We're going to need everything she's got. X-ray 2, Bravo 82, over. This is X-ray 82. It's definitely our mate, the porcupine, over. Roger, when you board, call on deck. We'll be there ASAP, over. Yeah, Roger that. Out. You call your board now. They come here. No, that's not the plan, Tom. That's the plan. You call your board now. That's all right. Calm down. No, they cannot help you. They won't, Tom. Trust me. No, you call your boat now. Mate, we call our boat now. They stick out those poles and we can't touch them, right? Get him, E.T. Get him! Get him! What the hell? Get him! Get him! Trying to warn his mates so they can get away. Mom, oh, he's not turning around. All right, they're going to ram us. Let's get him inside, E.T. Yeah. E. This is Bravo A2 there, attempting to ram us on the port side. Over. Come on, Buff! Come on! The shark boat's changing course away from the ice boat. Something's wrong. Get the rib in there. X-ray 82, this is part 82. X, we need you to move in Up now. Both Over. engines, revolutions 1400. Oh, yeah, yeah. Both engines, revolutions 1400. XO, I can outturn him, but I cannot outrun him. You guys that hurry up would be greatly appreciated. Over. We're coming as fast as we can, Bravo A2. You'll have to keep him busy for another five. Over. Yeah, roger that. I'll do my best. Fire! Agent Mayas Hammers, 
yes, sir. Sir, Commander Marshall. Sir, I've just had a call from some pin pusher in Canberra who's just copped an earful from the French consul in Samaru. Yes, sir, I'm in the middle. What? He wants his flag back. Now, make this go away, Mike. Understood? Yes, sir. And flog the moron who took it. Understood, sir. Is the rib? No, it's still minutes away, sir. No, they're gone. It's Gil! Mom, if that spread is gonna go everywhere, we'll be gone. Now. Oh. Bravo, A2. This is Charlie A2. Yeah, great to hear your voice, boss. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Buffer, it's time for a graunch boarding. Sir? A graunch boarding. Turn the tables on them, take them by surprise. Over. Sir, isn't that against regulations? Only when it involves one of our boats. Tell me he didn't say graunch! I think he did, man. Ah. Sir, you are a madman. It's a pleasure to serve under you. Wish us luck, over. Team, stand by. We're gonna board directly from this vessel. Brace for a collision. Leg, sir. Manage his pain, treat him with courtesy. Yes, sir. Good work, Spider. Thank you, sir. Saved my bacon out there today, sir. I heard. The ex has been singing your praises lately. Yes, sir. Your actions today have helped me make up my mind. What is that god awful smell? Uh, it's just shark fin, sir. Have a shower, get changed, report to me on the bridge. Thank you, sir. I'll be right back. He's really stepping up for us. What's going on? Uh, someone must have bumped us, sir. Uh, subwoofer. <laughs> Reckon it must have shook the whole boat. I want that taken down now. Now! Sorry. Judge, you want to? Yeah. I want an answer. Who took it? Who took it? It was me, boss. Captain's table. 1,400. That's your defense, is it? 
You wanted to get the French back for calling you names. Yes, sir. I just uh, thought it would have been a bit of a joke, you know? I didn't think that... No, you didn't think. And when you had a chance to return it, you didn't think then either. No, sir. The flag's going back, along with two letters of apology, one from me on behalf of every sailor on this ship, and one from you expressing your deep regret and contrition. And it better be convincing, understood? Yes, sir. In regards to punishment, I'm taking into account your previous good record and your courageous actions today. Thank you, sir. That's much appreciated. I haven't finished, Seaman Webb. This incident will be recorded on your service record and may come back to haunt you. And as for your promotion, I cannot recommend that at this time. Dismissed. Seaman Webb. Hope. On cap. Salute. Right turn. Quick march. I've, I've already emailed the old about the promotion, okay? How am I going to tell them that it's not happening? Just tell them the truth. Well, then I'm a thief. Then in the heat of the moment, you made an error of judgment. But I never thought anyone would even notice. You know, they had them hanging all over the place. Well, it's a pretty powerful symbol, the flag. We rally around it, we celebrate with it, we fight under it, we cover our dead heroes with it. Yeah. You put it like that. Look, what's done is done. What you're gonna do is work doubly hard and work your butt off. Yes, Buff. You know what the real tragedy is, don't you? Having to send this baby back. Breaking my heart. Me too, Buff. Kate? Yeah? I hear you disapproved of my call for a grunt boarding. Do you mind? Sure. Yeah. It was a high-risk decision. We modified our tactics and we succeeded. But I was only minutes away in the room. A lot can happen in minutes, X. Yeah, I, look, I agree, but I, I just... Go on. You put our crew in harm's way, sir. No one was injured. Through good luck and good training. Oh, come on, Kate. Who dares wins? Now, I'm sure you've heard that by now. Yeah. It's the SAS motto, sir. Yeah, that's right, it is. And I would have thought that would have been right up your alley. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you denying me any opportunity to move on from you? Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. That was out of line. It's just that uh, sometimes we find ourselves facing circumstances that are beyond our control. And in such situations, a person has to seize the moment. Don't you agree? I think leadership takes courage. I think a lot of things do. That's all.
No, there was no way I'll do that ever again. Yeah, you're getting too old, E.T. Oh, and wh who had to pull off the dance floor early, Sunshine? Yeah, all right, no, remind me. <laughs> We go like a couple of legends. Yeah, in our own lunchtime. And we met some ladies. Buffer speaking. We are just some rib training drills with the new ribs. All personnel not on watch must at the boat deck. All right, let's go. About time you got your feet wet. Oh, I don't drive the ribs, so it's not really much point, is there? The point is the Navy pay you to be prepared. It's not a request, R.O. New ribs can be tricky, sure, but my grandmother could have handled it in those seas. What happened out there, Ray? Just following the buffer's instructions, sir. That's the one thing you weren't doing. How many fingers? Oh, I'm not blind. There are three. Permission to resume my duties, sir. No, sit down. Sir. I know this is left field. But I've seen a fair bit of drug use in my time. Signs are all there. No way. There's, there's no way. Nora, test it.
You know, little birdie tells me that you boys painted go red last night. No, no, it's more of a shade in my voice, sort of quiet one. How's that waypoint looking, X? Uh, distance to waypoint is 32 miles, sir. Uh, slightly to starboard, coming left to regain. Port 5, steer 180. Port 5, steer 180. Happy with that. Corset 180. <laughs> Boss. Drug screen came back positive. It'll have to go to the lab now for confirmation of the result, but... Uh... OK. Thanks, mate. Sir, there's been a mistake. Sway must have incorrectly administered the test. Oh, that's unlikely, right? Sir, I don't do drugs. So how do you explain the screen? Like I said, there's been a mistake with the test. What did you do last night, right? I don't. Well, where'd you go? I, I was in Gove, but I just... Well, who with? Where'd you go? What'd you do? When... Was there anyone there from the ship? Right, I want you to sleep it off. Give me your keys. What about my duties, sir? Your assistant can take care of your duties. Give me your keys. Sleep it off, that's an order. to question the results of the drug test. Well, I followed protocol, ma'am. The test is accurate. Everything I know about Robert tells me that he is not a drug user. With all due respect, I mean, how much do you know about him? I mean, my experience with Robert tells me he's pretty much a closed book. Oh, is that because he's not one of the boys? Well, he keeps to himself, sure, but he's also highly strung and more than a little inflexible. I mean, that potentially makes him a prime candidate for this sort of thing. OK, okay. debating the issue isn't going to solve anything. The facts are the facts. Right, so what's the next step? We send the sample to the lab. If it's confirmed as positive. It'll mean his career. Nietzsche was Swedish, you know? Friedrich Nietzsche was German. Swedish. German. OK, he was German, but he wished he was Swedish. My drink was spiked, that's the only explanation. I was at a bar in Gove. There's some backpackers there, a Swedish guy who must have put something in my drink. Why would a Swedish backpacker spike your drink? Perhaps to rob me, sir. Were you robbed? Were you hurt in any way? Look, Robert, you've got highest security clearance. You're privy to sensitive, top secret information. I don't need to tell you. An RO with a drug problem is untenable. Now, before you can resume any duties, we're going to have to test you again, make sure your system's clear. I thought you of all people would have believed me, sir. Well, this isn't a question of belief, Rose. This is a safety and procedure issue. Now, as your divisional officer, now we'll organise another test through Swain. That's all. in our vicinity has located a body in the water. We are closing to take custody. Swimmer of the watch close up. Stand by to recover by swimmer starboard side. Away, swimmer! Time to 
did you come upon the body? About eight o'clock. I put a rope around the poor bugger, but he was too heavy for the wife and I to pull on board. We saw a cabin cruiser off to the east of us, trying to radio them for help, but they ignored us. Even on the swimmer's line, and no man. Watch it steady, boys. Fast. Check away on the recovery line. Heaving on the recovery line. Hand over hand. Fast. It's no drowning, sir. You didn't happen to hook him with a gaff when you got him on board, did you? No way. A uh, rope is all. All right, Mr. Peterson. The police launch will be here in a few hours. Sit tight. All right. All right. Nothing more to see. Two, three, up. Work, boys. Nietzsche was Swedish, you know. Not fish again. Charge, this is real man's quiche. Bacon, sausage, barbecue sauce, flash of Tabasco. Put whiskers on your whiskers. Or in spite of case, it may bring on puberty. I hope you know I shave every day. Legs and bikini line don't count, mate. You'll put hair on your chest, then. I've got hair on my chest, OK? Just like yours. Good comeback. Yeah, good comeback yourself. Look at munchies, mate. What's that supposed to mean? Well, that means you're a little bit sus. <laughs> Freak. Hey, enough. Handover's complete, boss. We're right to go. Thanks, Wayne. We'll head east. Take a look for this cruiser, Mr. Peterson. Saw. There's no reports of anyone missing at sea, then. No, I wouldn't expect there to be. Do you think this boat the Petersons tried to contact could be involved? They didn't respond to their radio calls, did they? Me. Getting stuck in the road like that. He doesn't deserve it. Oh, come on. That was a joke. He overreacted. He stood up for himself. You're out of line. Are you serious? Look, he put half a dozen sailors' lives at risk yesterday. Yours included, Bomber. What? Mm. You fancy him, don't you? <laughs> yes? I, oh, don't you start. Huh? No. <laughs> All right. He's claiming his drink was spiked. How lame is that? It does happen. Oh, you 
Right. All right, E.T., you live in a tin can at sea, surrounded by all your mates. You reckon you know anything about real life? OK, look, I'm sorry. Oh, no, don't say sorry to me. Say it to Rob. Well, you know what? I'll apologise to both of you. It's certainly not a good idea to rub the chef out the wrong way. I might find a cockroach in my cornflakes. That's right. Do you hear there? Exo speaking. Hands to fade extension. Hands to fade extension. Man overboard. Stand by to recover by rib. He's caught in the net, boss. Sir, we're ready to go. Thanks, X. Let's go. Tangled there. Is this embarrassing or oh, what? <laughs> Did your neck get caught in your prop? Yeah, yeah, I was trying to rescue my nets and uh, yeah, now I need rescue, eh? You can thank your wife for reporting you missing. I oh, love you, darling. <laughs> Righto, let's cut you loose, sir. Uh, pull over a bit. Might be a slight case of concussion, sir, but otherwise he's OK. Just hurt me pride, eh? Hardly life-threatening, Captain. Sea can be cruel, Mr Stevens. Hey, Murray. No, mister. You know, I've been a prawn trawling here for, what, pool? 23 years now. And that's the first time I've found myself up in the nets like that. Uh, and then this big bloke comes along and cuts him to shreds. I'm sure your insurance will cover it, sir. Yeah, whatever, son. I'll just patch him up. You're taking a big chance trawling out here on your own. Have you ever thought about taking on a deckhand? Deckhands cost money, love, and I wish I could afford one. Captain Charge. You go ahead, Charge. Spider and I have checked the boat over. She's seaworthy, but not in the greatest of shape. No compass, no electronics, apart from a very old radar system. And practically no safety gear whatsoever. Yeah, Captain, copy. Sir, would you like us to put the trawler under tow? No, we haven't got time, X. We need to get after that cruiser. Can you do that? Hey, look, Captain. Tell them that we're going there. Why don't you just chuck him back on the old girl? I mean, I lost a lot of time because of all of this. Rome! Given your possible concussion, I think it would be remiss of the Navy to wave you goodbye. X, I want you and Roe on Maury's trawler, see you to the nearest port. No, 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 no. No passengers, mate. I'm afraid I insist, Maury. I want to see you safely home. Well, with respect, sir, I wouldn't be the best person for the job, and I am needed here. Pull your head in, leader. Your assistant can assume your duties. Get your clobber together, you're pushing off in ten. You have sharks, but we have bears. Much deadlier. What do you want? I just came to see if you're all right. What for? Hmm? I get it. Come to see the freak. No, maybe you've come to see the soon-to-be ex-sailor so you can appreciate just how lucky you are to still have a career. Bro, I heard you had your drink spiked. Who told you that? I'm a chef. I know everything. Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. if you don't mind. Look, I had my drink spike once too. A couple of years ago, I went to the pub with some friends. Met a cute guy, bought me a drink. The next thing I knew, I was in the street. He was kissing me, trying to push me into the car. But it was like I was in a dream, a nightmare. I couldn't think, I couldn't remember how I got there. My brain was mush. I had flashbacks for days. I didn't know what happened to me. Then my mates were there. They rescued me. But if it wasn't for them... The guy that we brought on board. I knew him. I'd spent the night drinking with him in a Gove pub. Well, you really should tell the CO. Well, I can't do that, not till I figure out what I've done. What I was wearing that night. It's not my blood. 
Sir, I still don't believe my skills are being best utilised. I suggest someone like E.T. would be much better equipped for a job like this. Try and look at this as a learning opportunity, Ro. What? Playing nursemaid to an incompetent fisherman who doesn't have a compass, let alone life jackets? Sir, I believe that lesson is be prepared. Uh, excuse me, sir. We've just started the process of ferrying the safety equipment and supplies to the trawler. Right. On your way, right? Is there any particular reason why you're sending me and Ro? Swain told me about the incident in the galley. I think this is a good opportunity to get Robert off the boat. Yeah, that makes sense. But it would make more sense to send Buffer or Swain with him. Well, I disagree. Of all the people on the ship, Robert responds to you best. I want you to get him talking, find out what's going on inside that head of his. His career's on the line, Kate. I'm not willing to give up on him just yet. Good luck, guys. Happy prawn trolling. We'll have a Navy boat meet you in port tomorrow, Arvo. Roger that, Nav. I uh, hope you catch up with the suspect boat, over. OK, let's get this gear loaded into the wheelhouse. Hey, welcome aboard. Cheers. Oh. Come on, darling. Let's go up the gunk. Let's go. She sounds like she needs an oil change. No, no, no there's nothing wrong with her oil. It's the rest of it that's buggered. <laughs> no, there's no money in this business, love. Yields are down. Cheap imports are cutting me out of the market. And the price of diesel's killing me. So why do you keep doing it? Love me prawns. Love me boat. Don't care much for the missus. <laughs> Any sign of that cabin cruising that? Ah, oh, no, sir. With the diversion to the prawn trawler, they'd be off our radar by now. All right. Let's keep searching to the east. They did have something to do with the body we pulled on board, and I want to find them. Ah, uh, yes, so port five, steer 085 revolutions 1600. Steering 085 revolutions 1600. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Rat packs. Not exactly bombers, gourmet grub, but it beats whatever Murray's eating down below. This boat's just got the bare necessities. It would be a tough way to make a living. We should reach port just after forenoon tomorrow. Well, this is a great way to spend my last day at sea, isn't it? The fond, stinking bus pocket. Ro, what's been going on in your life? Is that your way of asking me how many drugs I'm doing? I know you've all made up your mind. Pretty much the whole ship thinks that I've gone off the rails. Don't think I don't know what they're saying, ma'am. Ro, it's not that they don't want to believe you. It's just... You... Why would someone spike your drink? You weren't robbed, you weren't taken advantage of, and you didn't come up with a story. It's not about... a story. OK, well, you didn't tell anyone about your drink being spiked until after the drug test. It doesn't matter. I'll get back to Gove. I'll sort the whole thing out. Gove? No, you have to go back to base for the investigation. The Navy's my life, ma'am. If I get kicked out, what would I do? Sharks, but we have bears. Hey, you can't even walk straight. She laughed. You Aussies, you take advantage of us backpackers. Hey, Ro. Had a 
kettle's just boiled if you want to make yourself a brew. Yeah, it might go at the back deck. Have a cup of it. Help yourself. going to be important in a few hours. We might not have a few hours. I was looking for the tea and I found this. That belongs to the Swedish backpacker that I was drinking with in Go three nights ago. I think Mori might have murdered him. What, what are you talking about? The Swede about? that I was drinking with in Go, he's dead. He's dead. That's how, his necklace. No, no, no. How, how do you know he's dead? Put him on board Hammersley yesterday. Uh, Ro, why didn't you tell anyone? I thought I might have been responsible. I was Respon confused. Responsible I... for killing him? Okay. Bro, this doesn't prove anything, but it's a cheap necklace and there are millions of these things, all right? Man, I know that it's his. I am positive. Hey, what's going on? Everything all right? Yeah, fine. Sure? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Copy that, sir. Our uh, captain's now available. Sir, Commander Marshall for you. G'day, sir. Mike, I've just had a call from the feds. Is there a question may be solved in, in, the in some suspected smugglers? They're currently uh, six miles southeast of your position. I've just given the coordinates to your nav. Smugglers, uh, you mean drug runners, sir? Counterfeiters. The word is that they're shifting bogus US dollars in from some outfit in Thailand. Now, the feds are on their way, but you're currently best place to hold them until the, uh, the feds can assume custody. Roger that. Can't stress enough, Mike. The feds warn that these guys are armed and dangerous. Oh, thanks for the heads up, sir. Oh, tinted out. Boss, well, so we've got them on the e -odd. They fit the description of the cabin cruiser that we've been searching for. The feds suspect them of smuggling in counterfeit US currency. Well, there's your motive for murder. We're to take them down and hold them until the feds arrive. Nav, pipe boarding stations. But for you in charge in the excise absence, you need to be spot on with your gathering and preserving of evidence. And I want everyone in the Kevlar vests, extra plates inserted. Let's go. Aye, oh, sir. Sir, X on channel 69 for you. X, Captain, everything OK your end? Not really, sir. I'm worried about the RO. Well, what's wrong with it? Sir, he's making some strange claims. He is thinking that the dead body we pulled out of the water yesterday is the same guy he was drinking with in Go, the Swedish backpacker. He also thinks that our skipper, Mr Stevens, is somehow involved in his death. Was well, he behaving irrationally? Is it safe to go on, X, over? Sir, it's more what he's saying, not how he's behaving. Sir, the suspect vessel has altered course and picked up speed, now bearing 275. X, I've got to go. We're right in the middle knots. of a boarding evolution. Yes. Settle row down as best you can until you get to port, over. I'll do my best, sir. Out. Hey. What's my like now in the car park? It's very thoughtful of you. Thanks. Cheers. Ah, good. Battle on my port beam. This is Australian warship. You should stop or heave to so I can board you. Looks like they're not going to let us board this time, boss. OK, let's get the snatch party in there, Nav. Bravo 8-2, this is Papa 8-2. Insert, insert, insert. Move to 
the far side of the console. Mine bridge cleared. Both engines stopped. Get him down here now, straight To the far edge of the vessel. One down, Bob. This was secure, sir. Face some resistance. No shots fired. Any evidence on board, Buffer? Stand by, boss. Buff? That's a big bag of cash, but it's not Yankee dollars. Semi ruling currency. Oi. You. Oi, look at me while I'm talking to you. What are you doing with a bunch of Samaroon currency? Is it counterfeit? Right, uh, have it your way. The feds will be here within the hour. They'll be taking you and your crew into custody and charging you for this and for murder. Murder? The guy you threw overboard two days ago, we picked him up. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that right? Samaroon? What, no greenbacks? Well, that's correct, sir. No US currency. Only Samaruan money in the millions. But why would anybody counterfeit Samaruan currency? Oh, given the political turmoil there, sir, perhaps it's designed to undermine the economy. Yeah, OK. Well done, Mike. Um, listen, the feds will be with you shortly. But, sir, the smugglers have denied all knowledge of the body we recovered. Maybe the feds can get more info out of them. Right, on that matter, the body's just been ID'd. He was a Swedish backpacker, one Anders Nygaard. A Swedish backpacker? Yeah, he'd been working as a deckhand on various local fishing boats. Now, the preliminary autopsies identified Roe Hypnol in his system. Definitely looks like a murder, Mike. Right. Thanks, sir. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2, over. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2, over. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2 on channel 69, over. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2 on channel 69, over. Radio check, over. X. X. X, can you hear me? Radio check, over. Damn it. Have you got them on radar, Nav? Yes, sir. They appear stationary. Feds have arrived, boss. How long's this handover gonna take? About an hour. We don't have an hour. I can't get a hold of the X. I think there could be a problem on the prawn trawler. How far away are they, Nav? Seven clicks, sir. Top speed in the rear, that's 12 minutes. Let's get there. Pipe boarding stations. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2 on channel 69. Over. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2 on channel 69. Over. Here you going there, buddy boy. You're all right. Bit of a knock on the noggin, have you? You'll be all right, mate. You'll be good. There you go, there, doll. Like another cuppa, would you? X-ray hey. A2, this is Charlie A2 on channel 69. You hosties, you take advantage of us backpackers, use us as cheap labor. Oh, that, that is a gross generalization. No, my captain, he fish illegally. He fish without a license. Yeah. Illegal Don't give fishing. me one cent. Did you call the police? I'm telling the Navy. What are you going to do about it? I'm off duty, man. What fun. <laughs> off duty. <laughs> well, big Navy man you are. All right, is this boat even important? Yes. All right, I'll sort it out. Of course I'm licensed. It's just a misunderstanding. <laughs> Young fella, he'll get paid in the morning as soon as I offload those tiger prawns, eh? You don't think I'd rip off my own decky, do you? Anyway, get these down, you kids. Skull! Hey, skull! What do you do? Drunken sailor, what do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Yeah. Once more. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Early in the
should have a little talk, eh? You finally recognised me, didn't you? Now, did you tell anyone besides her? Did you tell anyone? On the two-way? I don't think you did. What are you gonna do now, Murray? Hey? What are you gonna do? There's gonna be a tragic accident. A boat like this, once it catches on fire, nothing's gonna stop her. You'll be dead. There'll be no evidence. Then I get to claim my insurance. Cut to keep his mouth shut about the license, eh? Right, eh, kids? Keep your eyes closed, it's gonna burn! Whee! You like that? Hey! Uh, 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 bigger cut of bite, eh? I'm hardly meeting my running costs as it is, and do I look like a friggin' charity to you? Ex, can you move? Shut up! your safety gear here, not to mention the flares, eh? You know, I'm just trying to make a living here. And where's the crime in that? found a stash of rohypnol in his galley. Maury Stevens has been investigated twice for sexual assault. You and the ex will need to make formal statements when we get back to base. Won't be a problem, sir. Be my pleasure. Obviously, I'll be recommending a full exoneration, Robert. All charges dropped. Thank you, sir. I didn't mean to uh, disturb you, ex. Just oh. wanted to see if you're okay. Swain says 24 hours, and uh, mm. you should be as good as gold. Although the rohypnol may take a couple more days to be completely gone from your system. I don't agree with extramarital soy sauce. Right. Mm. Yeah, well, um, I'll let you sleep it off. You're a beautiful man, Mike Flynn. Just beautiful. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Mm. 
Why did you leave? Hmm. Excuse me. Ralph. Look, I wanna I wanna apologize for what I said. Miguel. Okay. Okay. What is? You're in the clear. Yeah. Everybody's over the moon. They can't contain their joy. Well, you know, Ro, if you didn't keep to yourself so much, this mightn't have happened. What? If you had friends looking out for you in Gove. Yeah. I don't do friends that well. Well, maybe if you start with one and then work your way up from there. Fishing vessel should be in sight by now, sir. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2, over. Go ahead, Charlie A2. X, you should be right on top of them. There it is, X, directly ahead. We've just made visual contact. We're moving in slowly. We're hoping to surprise them, over. X, we'll take the port side. Copy that, Buffer. Keep us over to starboard. Mate, I need to speak to your boss now, now. Charlie A2, Bravo A2, our All right, we've got him in our sights. It's a full fishing rig. It's a foreign job, all right? They haven't seen us yet. I say we hit him. Hit him hard now. X. Confirm we have them in our sights. Over. X, it's up to you. Command approval to insert. Call it as you see it. Over. Uh, yes, sir. Buffer, stand by to move in. Over. Yes, yeah, standing by, X. We'll take the channel to starboard. Nav, what's your take on this Campbell Fulton guy? Uh, he's a marine protection guy, sir. Oh, yeah, I know that, but uh, is he a bit of a loose cannon? He's a marine protection guy, sir. <laughs> Enough said. Bravo A2, this is X-ray A2. Let's go. Move in. Ready, Australian Navy. Stay where you Boys, are. Boys, I'm going to go. Go. I repeat, point your weapons down. We intend to board you. Go, 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 go. The Australian Navy, put your weapons down. Put your weapons down. Australian Navy, stop your engines and heave to now. We are the Australian Navy. Put your weapons down. Stay where you are. We intend to board you. Catch your engines. We are the Australian Navy. Stop your vessel. Catch your engines now! Look out, E.T. Bob! Where's E.T.? E.T.? Stay where you are! Where is he? OK, cease pursuit okay, of the vessel okay. and head over to the other rib. Charlie A2, this is X-ray A2. We just had a collision. The fishing vessel has rammed Bravo A2. We're heading over to give them assistance now. Over. Well, what's the damage, X? X, we got a man overboard, I repeat. ET is overboard. ET's overboard? X, there's Crocs in there. Find him. Where is he? Ma'am, I don't know where he is. Ma'am, ma'am, there he is. Charlie A2, we've located ET. He seems to be caught up in the fishing vessel, over. X, what do you mean by caught up? Uh, sir, he's now climbing on board the fishing vessel. What the hell's he doing? Boarding the vessel on his own? Australian Navy, drop the weapon! Drop the weapon! Back in the boat! Drop the weapon! Back in the boat! Back in the boat! Back in the boat! Back in the boat! Up, in the quarter, in the quarter, back it up. Let's go! In the quarter, in the quarter, back it up! In the quarter. Oh. What a single-handed takedown.
Mr. T? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Sorry to crash the party, mate. I'd be having fun. Heaps of fun. E.T. This was all yours, ma'am. A solo boarding of a foreign fishing vessel is not exactly standard procedure. Are you OK? I'm sorry. They just came straight at me. Yeah, well, you got lucky. Are you up to conducting a search? Yes, ma'am. Spider, bomber, you stay with the crew. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Buffer, E.T., search the vessel. And give uh, Agent... What's his name again? It's uh, Fulton. Give Agent Fulton from Marine Protection whatever assistance he requires. Much yeah. appreciated, Lieutenant. E.T., do any of them speak English? Uh, no English speakers, as far as I can tell. I like they're going to let on to you. What was that? They're not going to own up to you whether or not they speak the language. My name's Campbell Fulton. I'm the Marine Protection I'm going to drop that guy on the drink. I yeah, just give me the word, mate. Fishing and fishing in Australian waters. Do you understand? Oh, what's come up for? Charlie 82, this is oh, X-ray 82. We've boarded the vessel. There's no resistance from the crew, and we're conducting a search now. Over. Good work, X. Is E.T. OK? Yes, sir, he's fine. Let's not have any more heroics today. Understood, sir. I'll let him know. Oh, Agent Fulton. Uh, call me Campbell, please. I'm not big on ceremony. <laughs> As you can see, it's a fairly primitive setup. Yeah, I wouldn't be risking a dive with this sort of gear. And I feel bad for your crew having to search the boat. It's pretty rank. Oh, well, we've dealt with worse situations than this. I'm sure you have, Lieutenant. I have nothing but respect for you guys and the work you do. Thank you. Excuse me. I don't know how they do it. I couldn't do it. Man, this smell's knocking me out. It smells of trochus. <laughs> mate, that joke's a trochus. How are you guys doing? Yeah, great, mate. Just great. Oh, I don't know nothing. It's hygiene. Blows my mind. What's that noise? Australian Navy? Open, mate. Okay, all right, mate, let's get you out of there. He's cool, mate. You think he's for real? No. That looks pretty for real. We need a medic here, too. Come here, sir. Here. Let's go. Inside? Yep. Yeah. Where's the patient? We left him in the barrel. You kidding? Well, E.T. said it was acting like some sort of hyperbolic chamber. For what? Hyperbaric. He's been diving for trochus. He's, he can't walk. He's in a truckload of pain. I thought maybe it's some sort of makeshift hyperbaric chamber to cure the bends. Yeah, all right. Well, I need to examine the guy, so I need him out of the barrel. All right. Here's the box. And Buff, can you find out what the ex has found out from the crew? Yeah, Roger. Any joy with the crew, ex? Uh, what I need is a card that says, why do you have a man in a barrel? Can't help you there. <clears throat> they look Japanese to me. Well, I've tried Japanese. I've tried Indonesian and Malay, and I suspect they know exactly what I'm saying, but they're not talking. I can't get them to communicate at all. Why don't you have a go? Language has never been my strong point, ex. Have a go. A uh, man in barrel. Man down there in barrel. Why? <laughs> Shut up. Super. Um, Ben's. Ben's out. Um, Ben's. Yeah? Is that why he's sick? Guys, I need to clear the area as soon as we can so I can collect evidence. Yeah, well, you'll have to wait, I'm afraid, mate. E.T., grab the X. We've got a situation. So we're just not sure what the problem is. We don't think it's the Ben's not judging by the symptoms. Uh, the Swain thinks that it could be a poisoning, although it could be a number of other things. Sir, the nearest medical facility is Red oh, Reef. Oh, 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 oh. Roger. X, the nearest medical facility is at least... Eight hours away. Eight hours away? Uh, Swain medical assistance is eight hours away. Ma'am, this guy's respiratory system is shutting down now. So we don't have eight hours. The patient's respiratory system is shutting down. Well, can we find out why? Someone must know what happened to him. Well, they're refusing to communicate with us, sir. Well, 
surely they understand how serious this is. I, I am trying to make them aware of that. All right. Get Swain to prep him, and we'll get him to Red Reef as quick as we can. Over. Copy that. Spider, bring one of the crew below deck, please. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, please, stand up. Uh, sir, come with me, please. Go You then. Sir, stand up. Sir, could you please stand up? You come with me, you come below deck. No, 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 no. Sir, you come below with me. No, no, sir. no. Mama. Hey! Uh, oh, oh, Spider, what did... What's stop. going on? Ma'am, they're just refusing to go below decks. X, it's Swain, the barrel guy. Uh, just leave them, forget it. Swain, they're refusing to come below decks. Uh, it's too late anyway, ma'am. He's dead. Okay. Oh. All right. <coughs> they don't seem too happy with each other. Yeah, do you blame them? Why their crews just died? Hey, Spider, I want you to stay alert, and if there's any signs of trouble, let me know. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, these guys don't look healthy. <coughs> hey, Bomber, <coughs> can you take a look at these two? Sure. Get Fulton, and we'll head back to the Hammersley. Find Sir, I have been trying to get some information, but they just won't communicate. One of their crewmen's dead, don't they understand that? Yes, but it's like they just don't want to know about it. The guy gets sick and they shove him in the barrel. <laughs> Got some pretty impressive nav equipment there, Lieutenant. Oh, yeah, only the very, very latest. Just mean there's no chance of getting lost on a deserted island? Absolutely not. Always a romance in that. <laughs> well, I don't think we're here for romance, so. Speak for yourself. for one day? No, never. No, I just, uh, I think I pulled a muscle boarding that FF3. I was just trying to stretch it out. Oh, no, I know what you're doing. You're trying to drive me crazy. Is it working? No. It's having absolutely no effect whatsoever. Ah, right. Well, I guess I'm safe just to keep doing it then. Just don't blame me if I can't think about anything else. I won't blame you, but uh, others might. <laughs> we were just discussing the situation with the fisheries. Thank you, leader. Ma'am. He seems like a nice fella. Yeah, he's a good sailor. Yeah, it must be weird. I mean, being surrounded by guys all the time. You're not allowed to get involved with any of them. No, it's not a problem. I'm not saying it's a problem. I just reckon it'd be tough. I mean, in my job, I miss all that interaction, you know, being away for months at a time. And I don't have the rules you guys have. Well, those rules are there to protect us. The system works perfectly well. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I'm not inside that system. So I'm thinking maybe you and I could get together sometime. I... I can't do that. I'm sorry. I've got to get back to work. Excuse me. Sorry. Swaino! Yeah? I'm gonna check this out. Chickens. Dead chickens. All of them. Well, it looks a thing. What a bloody mess. Buff, close it up. Take it easy, mate. You gotta wash your hands. What? Just wash your hands quickly. Uh, we gotta get off this boat. Why? What are you thinking? Dead chickens, mate. Not frozen, not stored away for food, just a bunch of dead chickens. How do you think they all died? How do you think he died? Bird flu, mate. Come on, let's go. Oh. Yeah? Nikki, hey. How's it going? Hi, Wilson. Um, look, I, like I said before, I'm really busy right Sweet now. Sweet, you so... live. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> you think so? Well, it's a lot nicer than a fishing boat full of troika shell. That is not so yes, nice. Yes, I'm sure it is. You studying? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, I have a mountain of paperwork that I have to get through. Isn't that always a way? You guys have to keep records of everything? Absolutely. God, you've got a great mouth. <laughs> what? You're gorgeous. Let's be honest. Thank you, but um, before you get too carried away, I'm not interested. Sure, you're not. <laughs> Fulton? Oh, thank you, but no on, thank you. Nikki, don't give me that. Fulton? I can see you up for it. You've got the whole Mediterranean thing going on. I love Fulton, it. Fulton, leave now. I love Italian women. Get out they're of very, my cabin, or else. Or else what? Or else I'll file a report. Now, I've asked you to leave twice. Now, you go. You want to talk about filing reports? I could file a report of my own about you and your colleague. What's his name? E.T.? I could tell Mike Flynn all about that little romance. There is nothing to tell. Yeah? But why are you blushing? Now, why don't we just chill out, you know? Get friendly. You really are cute. That's right, bird flu. Well, we have one dead man on the fishing vessel already, and some of my crew may have been exposed to it. No, we can't be sure, but in any case, we have to treat this as a worst-case scenario. Understood, sir. Nav, stand by to head for home port. Yes, sir. X, we'll have to figure out some sort of quarantine procedure. OK, well, the fishing crew could be placed on the boat deck for the time being. Do it. And any of our crew that have been on that boat, they'll have to be put in quarantine as well. That's me included? Yeah. Yeah. In Austria? Yeah, and Fulton can join you. He's been all over it. Yes, sir. Oh, X, uh, make sure everyone understands how serious this is. And I mean everyone. Sir. I've already had one fatality. Mm -hmm. No one anymore. Oh, lucky we weren't on that boat. Yeah, just as well. Is it, have a look at this. I'm re reading about the bird flu. It's a way of dying. It looks really, really bad. Is that so? <clears throat> Your eyes get infected, then you... Lung shut down. Your whole system shuts down. It's like it's like pneumonia, except a lot, lot worse. Bro. Oh, that is disgusting. The birds carry the virus in their intestines. I don't want to know about it, OK? You'll be right. Just don't go near the rest of the crew. It spreads really, Bro, really quickly. can you just give it a rest? You all right there, Nav? Yeah, sorry. I'm fine. I just need it. <laughs> I'm heading to quarantine, Nev. Uh, yeah, I have to go into quarantine too. Why? I came into contact with Fulton, the marine fisheries guy. What sort of contact? Just physical contact. It was an accident, so... I don't understand. Uh, he kissed me. By accident? Uh, no, on purpose. That must have been some kiss, if you're now worried about the virus. Yeah, it was. Um... I don't know, it's just, it's just freaking me out with everything that's happened, so... I, um, didn't know that you were friendly with Fulton. No, I'm not. It... It just, uh... It wasn't something that I invited him to do. In fact, I made it pretty clear that I wasn't interested. Did he touch you inappropriately? Oh... Uh... Did he put his hands on you? If a man puts his hands on you, unasked for, that is sexual assault. Nav, there is no grey area here. We are female crew on a Navy ship. Now, look, Fulton is a Navy, so... Well, he is on our ship. Look, I don't want people thinking that I can't take care of myself, Nobody. Okay? Nobody will think that. No, they will if I start making sexual assault claims. This bird flu thing... I might have been exposed to the virus, so I have to deal with that first. You're right. Quarantine. Chances? One in a million. You weren't even in the closed area for that one. Hey, unlike some. Mate, I'd be worried if I were you. It's part of the job. Stuff like this bothered me, I'd give up. Got room for a few more in here? Yeah. You sure? I don't, I don't think you're exposed to it. I'm taking precautions as necessary because of an incident that did occur. Um, I did come into possible contact. 
if any incident what Circumstances are not important right now. I've briefed the XO and we both thought that it was best that I join you in here. the XO. That's right. Anything I need to know about from a fisheries point of view? No, not really. Not really? I told the ex how I picked up your jacket by mistake. And the possible contamination risks. Yeah, right. The only way she could have contracted the virus is through that guy. What makes you say that? Well, look at him. I mean, he's the only one that she's had contact with. Besides yourself. Oh, mate, you can count me out. Not the nav and him? No. So you haven't incriminated anyone? No. <clears throat> Thank you. Sir, it looks like there's a storm coming in from the east. Right. Right, we'll have to secure the fishing vessel before we can head for home. Anchor us safely in the estuary. Um, so that boat's contaminated? Yeah, which is why it's doubly important to have it anchored safely. Ro, I'm not asking you to do it. Get someone from quarantine. Oh, yes, sir. Quarantine bridge. You're heading in the wrong direction. Now we're heading to the estuary, that's the brief. We're more up there. Well, we'll I think it's a better place back that way, mate. Yeah, well, luckily you're not my commanding officer. Yeah, luckily I'd have to bust you for fraternising. What's that? Come on. I know about you and the navigator. You can tell by the way you look at each other. Mate, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, sure you don't. Listen, look. I just want to know what she's like. You are dreaming. No, no, don't give me that. You've been there, haven't you? You've been there, I know you have. I bet she goes off like a frog in a sock. You want to swim back? I'm up for a bit of the nerve myself. <laughs> I want you to go Is that back it, mate? Is that it? Sit down and shut Settle up! Settle you got, mate. Now leave it. <laughs> Raise ET and we should have called him for a pickup a long time ago. Are you sure the comm equipment's okay? The comm equipment is working fine, sir. All right, send out a rib. Let's see if we can find them. Sir. Yeah, we found them, boss. Over. Bob, this is weird. There's no sign of them. We've got a board. Bob, what about the bird flu? We're gonna find ET in Fulton. ET? ET? ET! Where's E.T.? It was an accident, I swear. What? Oh, my God. E.T., are you OK? Yes. We're going to get you out of there, mate. It's going to be OK, mate. <sighs> Charlie A2, this is Bravo A2. We're in need of immediate assistance. Over. <laughs> oh, stop, 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 stop. It's not a it's cutting, it's cutting into it. How is it cutting into it? I don't know, every time the boat moves... I think it's broken, ain't it? We're going to get you out of here as soon as possible. That'd be good. He calls this, didn't he? Have you tried shifting the barrel buffer? Yeah, we can't budge it, boss. It's wedged on top of a rock. How much water's coming in? Oh, some, but E.T.'s body is like acting like a cork. And what condition is he in exactly? Yeah, he's in a bad way, boss. He's got this barrel on him, so it's hard to tell, but I suspect... Broken ribs, maybe broken legs. We need Swain here now. He'll be there. We're coming as fast as we can. Yeah, roger that. Ro, is there any other vessels in the area to assist? No, I've come advised that the nearest vessel is several hours away. Ah, oh, of course it is. 
Sir, you can't help ET without exposing the rest of the crew to a potentially lethal virus. I'm not leaving here without him. One, two, three. <laughs> Come on. Okay. No, stop, stop, stop. I have to try and winch it off you. Tight. So grab the turf and winch. We'll attach it somewhere on the ship. Take spider and bomber with you. Yes, sir. Sir. I'll give you a hand. Put the water level in here. It's coming in pretty quickly. I was hoping the rising tide would lift us off the rock. No, it's not going to do that if it's coming inside the boat as well. We'll just, uh, we'll just get the barrel off him. Boss, just so you know, this winching idea. E.T. said that that rock's cutting into his leg. OK. We'll take it slowly. I want to know how this happened. Nobody's talking. Not Fulton, not E.T. Uh, E.T., uh, he's in a fair amount of pain, sir. X, what do you know? I believe that uh, the nav, um, she may have been assaulted. Assaulted? Who by? Fulton. And that's how she was exposed to the virus. Well, what happened? I... What are you saying? She was raped? No, no, not from my understanding of the situation, but uh, apparently he made unwelcome advances and he touched her inappropriately. Well, why hasn't she said anything? Because she is afraid of the process and the possible ramifications of all of this. Oh, there'll be ramifications, all right. Look, I want a full report about this. Yes, sir. We get ET out safely. We get back to home port and sort this quarantine situation out and then I'll sit down with Nav. Yes, sir. I still don't understand how it happened. Well, like I told you, we didn't see the rock till we hit. And what were you doing below decks? We heard a noise and went to investigate. Both of you. I've had a complaint made against you by one of my officers. Sexual assault. That's rubbish. I'd hear my supposed to have assaulted. You tell me. <sighs> I mean, come on. How stupid do you think I am? Mate, I'm surprised that you would buy that. I'm offended you'd even say it to me. Allegations have been made and will be fully investigated. Look, it's, it's a misunderstanding. I don't know what she told you, but I'm on good terms with the lieutenant. Yeah, you get her up here, we'll ask her. I'll be asking her myself. Don't worry about that. And if I find out you've heard her or heard any of my crew, Okay, we're on. It's the only winch we've got, boss. It'll do the job. All connected here, sir. We've got feeling in both ends. Oh. Um, my left leg is just, it's just, it's numb. I can't. I'm stuck, so I'm... We're going to need to stay off you, okay? Right. Yes. And we're going to be as careful as we can, but I'm going to need you to tell us to stop, because we have to all right. So you let us know. No, I reckon I'll let you know now. Uh, Captain X, uh, we're ready to descend with standing by. Captain, copy. OK, charge. Start cranking. Slowly. That's it, mate. Which is on. Let's go. Take it easy, charge. Yep. You right? Yep. Unbelievable. That thing is wedged on tight. Touch. Yep. Stop cranking. Oh. <clears throat> Just hold it in position. I'm coming down. Off with me. Try to take the radio. Yes, boss. Sir, take over. Peter, you okay? Yes. He must have hit with some impact. Papa, tell Charles to go as hard as he can. Boy, to tell Charles to go as hard as he can, over. Roger that, Buff. All right. <coughs> Give me here. Give me here. Ready? Lift! Oh, come on! No, 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 no
my buggy's leg is still stuck in there. Boss. Get back to ship. Get pumps. Keep blankets, whatever you can find. We've got to stop this water coming in. Sir. Hey. Just hold on, man. Thank you. You're gonna be okay. I promise. The level of the water in there—it's rising a lot faster now. So those blankets—they're not working. Can we cut him out? I wouldn't want to risk it, ma'am. If, if we compromise the structure any further, this tub will fill up with water faster than we can get him out. Charge. Get across to Hammersley, get some breathing apparatus, bring it back here as soon as possible. I'll do so. There you go, mate. Should help with the pain. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Hey, E.T. This, uh, this rock here, it's, um, it's making things uh, a little bit tricky. So we're just consulting with the CEO on how we should proceed, OK? It is. Buffer? E.T.? Hey. E.T.? Hey. Do you know where you are? Hey. I'm fine. I'm okay. 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 I got you, mate. I got you. E.T., you stay with us, okay? You stay with us. Nikki? You okay? Oh, yeah. No, not really. I'm aware that you and E.T. have feelings for each other. Now, I don't want to know anything about that. Because I know nothing would have happened on this ship. You are too much of a professional for that to happen. Well, thank you. Now, this is difficult for you. And believe me, I feel for you. But right now, you have to keep it together for him. What a pain. <laughs> I don't know how much work you're taking. We've got to get him out of there. <laughs> okay, okay. You take a break. You go up on deck. You get yourself some fresh air. Okay. I'm going to look after him. I'll watch him. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. What did you tell your commander? Now is not the time. He okay. says you reported me for sexual assault. What? That was my reaction, exactly. There has got to be some mistake. Yeah, okay? I said something like that too. You better sort it out. Hey, don't you threaten me. I'm not the one at fault here. Listen, you report me, and I'll tell Flynn about you and your boyfriend, right? Oh. And I have a very vivid imagination. You'd do that, wouldn't you, with everything that's happened here? Absolutely. If I have to. It's up to you, Nikki. Fulton, if you say one word about me and E.T., I'll have you charged with attempted murder. What? E.T. told me everything. You shoved him into that hole. You caused this whole thing. So you better watch out, or I'll make sure you take the blame for this. You wouldn't have the guts, darling. Just try me. Now stay away from me. He's still conscious. He is, but he's lost pretty much all feeling in one leg. And he's getting delirious. He's lost a lot of blood, sir. But it's impossible to tell him how much. Yeah, tide is still coming in in there. Yeah, that's what I figured. Pretty soon the water's going to be up over his head. Judge, give me an ETA on the breathing apparatus, please. Swain, we need to keep him conscious for the Okaba to work. Yes, sir. But in my opinion, it's highly unlikely he'll maintain consciousness for that long. Okay, copy With that. With the pain and the blood loss. Sir, the... there is one other option we haven't considered. Yeah. What is it? We could operate. Cut him free. You, you want to amputate his leg? Is that what you're saying? Yes, ma'am. Look, it's the last resort option. But you're not seriously thinking of doing Ex, it. We have to consider it. We're out of options and I'm not going to let him drown. But there must be another way of doing it. Well, I'd like to know what it is. Swain, 
You have to get in there. He's not breathing properly. Let's go. No water isn't getting any lower with those Okaba units now. Okay, Nikki. Nikki. Well, ET's situation is possibly about to get a whole lot worse. Why? What, what's going on? You... You want... You want... Do you want a what? What? I don't... I don't know what to... I don't know what to say. T.T., we're running out of options here. That's so right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to drown. I don't hey, want to drown. Hey, you're not going to drown. We're not going to let that happen. You go home with us. Yeah? You're coming home with us. You... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. People get by with that. People get by. Well, I always get a car space. <laughs> Swain, it's a procedure. Can you do it? I'd have to consult with the FMO, sir, as to. How best to go about it? He's in a pretty bad way. Make the call. Get prepped. Sir. We're going ahead with this then. It's too late, Nikki. It's too... No, no, no. There's got to be a way. There's just got to be a way. It's too late. Right it's set up. Nav, out of the way. Nav, Nav, let's go. Good. Got to get you. I have an idea. We haven't got time. No, I have an idea. It's the UA market. Nav, we don't have time. We'll get out of the way. Move out of the way. Let's go. 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 let us All right, it's worth a shot. Let's move quickly, team. Get the life jackets from the ship and the swimmer's recovery is dropped. So let's go. That's a good move idea. Quickly, once this off bar goes on, we've only got 30 minutes. Move. It'll be all right. Why not? Recovery line. Thank you. <laughs> OK. You got it? How long to meet? I can better a beer, Swain. <laughs> a beer in a banana lounge. Can you stay with me? And I promise we're going to make it happen, OK? That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get you prepped, all right? Get some chin. Holiday. holiday. Fast as you can, Bomber. Yep. Everything all right? Clear? You hang in there, mate, okay? We're gonna get you out of here, all right? Last three right, coming. Guys, this is it. Last That's three. it. That's it. It's a lot, guys. Remember, three tugs on the line and the hull's free. Right, that'll do. Holler there. We're all set down below, team. Well done. Yeah. Well, good spot. Yeah. Keep the strain. This is it.
Get up, get up, get up. That's it. He's free. Get on the front of the line. You all right? You all right? OK. Heave him on the recovery line. Can you give me those ribs in here? Hand over hand. You go, mate. You're all right. Right, here we come. Here we come. I can see him. He's coming up. Get him up. Come on. What's his leg? What's his leg? You're okay. It's okay. You should have reported to me immediately. Yes, sir. Why didn't you do that? Fulton's a total piece of work. And I don't want somebody like that anywhere near my crew. Or any other crew. I'll make a complaint through Navcom, and we'll take it from there. Sir, uh, with respect, I have dealt with the situation, and I'd, I'd like to think it was in the past now. Well, I'm sorry, Nikki. It's not your call anymore. There's a chance he's done this before. And he could do it again if it's not dealt with. Well, how long is it gonna take? What? Well, we've all been tested, but no one's told us how long it takes to be given the all clear. In spite of you don't have bird flu. Well, how do you know that? Are you a pathologist? Well, luckily we weren't living on that boat or eating those chickens, so. Yeah, but that fishing crew, they could have left behind traces. We were on the Hammersley for a very long time. We disinfect Charge, those germs can live for a very long time. What? Are you a pathologist? Uh, sir, somebody's yeah. here to see you. Hurry up. Hey. E.T. Hey. Sir. Welcome back. Thank you. I just couldn't stand being in that bed anymore. I just, um, I just want to do, say, uh, thanks. How's the leg? It's going to be OK. Um, it's a bit uncomfortable when they were digging the bits of oyster shell out, but... At least you didn't contract bird flu. That's right, right. I was... <laughs> I was very lucky. Hey, uh, it's good to see you. Thanks, thanks. This thing with Campbell Fulton. I know. That was close. That was way too close. Would have been his word against ours. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I'd lost you. You're not going to lose me. Report belong my husband. Was his father still from Big War? Yes, it's a M1 carbine. It's an antique from World War II. Thank you very much. Thank you. They're starting to hand over their weapons it isn't easy for these people. So you think a gun amnesty on Samaru isn't going to work? Uh, sometimes guns are status symbols that have been in a village for generations. Well, everyone that we collect. It's going to make life safer for the peacekeepers, isn't it? Clear. Uh, X, you might just come. Um... Bommy, can you hold the queue? Sure. Excuse me, mate. G'day. Yeah. You buy? $35 America. Uh, no, we're not paying money. What's your name? Saka. Saka. I'll take 30. Where did you get this? No lower than 25. It's new. Saka, do you mind if I take a look? No, at not with that pay. I'll show you how good. <laughs> they lower your weapon. It's clear. Everyone all right? What's going on? You okay?
Come on, Sarah, you'll be fine. This, this is the weapon that he had. This weapon is brand new. Good thing we have a gun and Mr. huh? Weapons like this are very dangerous. Put it somewhere safe. In the wrong hands, it's disturbing to think what could happen. Of course, that weapon is slated for destruction under the terms of the amnesty. Of course it will be destroyed. Once I have completed my investigation, a crime has been committed. That is evidence. It's a Heckler and Koch MP5. We need to know where he got it. So you want me to question him? We'd be grateful. You, uh, you like American cop shows, huh? You know, good cop, bad cop, grill the perp. Kids are getting their hands on this sort of thing. It gives you an idea of what sort of hardware's out there. Oh, ow! Ow! Hey! Hey! It's just a kid. What the hell do you think you're doing? Questioning suspect. Well, maybe not quite so much bad cop. Okay? That's all right, Swain. Sergeant Toker is helping us. Look, I just found it in a jungle against a tree, sitting there. It's all right, mate. You haven't done anything wrong. So you paid me for it? What have you done this time? Nothing. I found a gun. Don't lie. I'm not. I'm telling the truth. Hey, all right. Hey, it's his mother. She knows best. Take him home. Thank you. Thank you. I told you to stay away from my man. I found a gun in trouble. trouble. Sergeant, if that weapon's linked to the insurgency, we'd like to know. I hear a lot of talk about these insurgents. Really just bandits and criminals living in the hills, making trouble. I hope that turns out to be the case. That boy doesn't know any more than what he's already told me. Maybe, maybe not, but... His family are good people. They'll make sure he doesn't get into any more trouble. Something tells me the wheels of justice move pretty slowly in Simmer. They have a legal system here. And it works. We have to liaise with the locals, remember? Yeah, I know. I don't have to like it. Is it worth going over Sergeant Toker's head? He's the highest ranked policeman on the island. Some information just through from NAVCOM. Serial numbers on the Heckler and Cock matches one of a batch stolen from a warehouse in Melbourne two weeks ago. You're kidding. Yeah, Ro, how many in the batch? I believe 50. So this girl actually agreed to go out with you? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not casting aspersions or anything, mate. The strike rate has been pretty low. Monica's different. Monica? Mm. Well, that's a name. This isn't a relationship where money changes hands, is it? Hey, don't jinx it, Swaino. Right. You don't know how lucky you are to have a girl like Sal. What is it? Come on. Come on. Um, <clears throat> Sally wants me to apply for a short posting. No way. Why? Everything. Nine month old baby, all alone. She needs me around. It's not easy for her. Yeah, mate, I can understand all that, but why? Well, I'm missing out on things too, like... You know, little things that Chloe's learning to do. All those moments that don't come around twice, you know. Can't see you in a desk job, mate. That's right. The serial numbers come up trumps. On the gun you confiscated. Right. Sorry. We've got to talk to our friend Toker again. Hey, Rhino, Herschel, can you give us a hand here? Still not answering, sir. We'll be patient with him. He's the only police force we've got. Still, all he has to do is pick up a phone. Well, it's a nice day for a walk, isn't it? G'day, stranger. Hello. What are you doing here? Well, I've come to see you. 
on the important military business. Oh. I'm organized our next day. Really? And where are we going? Well, I can't say, but it's very exotic, so next time you have sure leave, give me a call. Sucker. Found anything dangerous lately? No, if I do, I tell you. <laughs> All right. You. You. Get over here! Oh, hey, get over here! 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 Okay, we're getting back. It's a family dispute. It's an abduction. Mm. Maka, good coffee. It's a local matter. You want something else? A cake? No, look, this was not a family dispute. His mother was distraught. Now, she said she'd never seen the men before. So you questioned her? She volunteered the information, yes. And I should conduct a proper investigation, you agree? We appreciate that, Sergeant Toker. We view this matter very seriously. The boy was in possession of Saka. a... Saka. Saka was in possession of a weapon stolen in Australia. Suddenly that weapon appears on Samaru. That should be of concern to you. Well, of course it is. Thanks, Maka. I'm hoping Saka's abduction isn't connected to this weapon. But if it is, we need to know about it. Now, I'm sure you'll do your very best. At least I would have gotten a registration number of that vehicle. Look, it was a beige Land Cruiser Ute. Do you open your eyes when you walk around Samaru? You'll notice every second vehicle's a beige Land Cruiser Ute. I can't help feeling that we're somewhat responsible for this situation. How so? We're peacekeepers, not policemen. Yeah, but what if Saka did know something about those machine guns, and what if they didn't like him talking to us? I don't like this any more than you do. But this is a job for the local authorities. So I wouldn't trust Sergeant Taker to issue a parking ticket, and nor would you. Well, our job is not to question our standing orders, and you know that. The local police have the land, we have the sea. Yeah, well... Anything all right with Swan? He feels, uh, frustrated with the situation, like everyone. Let's stick to what we can do. We'll resume our patrols. Give the order to cast off. Sir. How's that waypoint looking, X? Uh, distance to waypoint is 32 miles, sir. Uh, slightly to starboard, coming left to regain. Port 5, steer 180. Port 5, steer 180. Um, give us a home when you're done, mate. I'll jump on that. No, no, no. It's all yours. You sure? Yeah, I'll need square eyes anyway. <sighs> Thanks, man. I keep staring at Monica's emails, trying to remember what her voice sounds like, and I can't. This doesn't compare to real communication, does it? Does it? Nice to see you too. Uh, Robert, I need to make a phone call. Well, you'll need to book a time. Yeah, I've already got the CO's permission. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, well, I can appreciate that. So I'd like to make it in private. Regulations require that during operational duties, either myself or the CO be present whenever the sat phone is in use. 
Robert, I need you to make an exception. We can't do that. Robert, I need to speak to my wife. Now give me a break. Sorry. I won't listen in. Sal, it's me. I... There's no one here at present. Just leave a message after the beep and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Sal, it's me. Are you there? Please, please pick up if you're there, though. OK, just, um... Uh, just, just email me when you get in, OK? And, uh, and I'll call you back. Just let me know when's a good time, OK? We need to talk, babe. Please. I love you. Thanks. Captain, sir, officer of the watch. Captain. Sorry to wake you, boss. I've got a suspicious radar contact bearing 170, range 11 miles. What have we got, Neff? It's not a fishing vessel. They're moving at about 30 knots. Bring us round, intercept. Um, coming to 170. I've got it, E.T. Thanks, boss. Course set, 170. Thank you, boss. Anything on the yacht? Uh, any second, sir. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Opportunity 52. Now, where's that file? Um, Rose got an X. Yeah, Thank colouring. You. Charge. Sir. The blokes who stabbed you escaped on one of these. Well, if it is the same boat, they're a long way from Australia. Sir, this is an image taken on the Eod on that day. You reckon that's it? There's definitely a resemblance. Let's lose the nav lights, see what they're up to. Yes, sir. Nav lights off. Um, they're slowing down to 10 knots and they're... They're heading towards a beach. What's the depth there? Four metres. No, we can't follow. OK, let's hold our position, see what's going on. Slow ahead both engines. Slow ahead both engines. Is that a Zodiac? Yeah, it's a Zodiac. We can't... Three men, and they're transporting something, maybe crates, something. Guns. Possibly. How do we handle this? OK, they're offloading the crates onto the shoreline and they're dumping them just beyond the tree line. Sir? It's a police matter. What if they're supplying guns to the insurgents, sir? Charge, we don't have jurisdiction here. What I can do is give our favourite police sergeant a call. You can't ignore this one. My only consolation is at four in the morning. Uh, sergeant Toker, it's Mike Flynn here. Sorry to wake you, but we have a situation. for getting your men together at such short notice. The resources are stretched very thin at present. Let's hope this is worth it. Well, I'm sure it will be. We had them under surveillance as they unloaded their cargo from the motor vessel offshore. They dropped these crates here, an area that's not really visible from the beach. 
I'm afraid you might be wasting my time. Why is that? Well, the writing on these crates suggests this is agricultural equipment. Why would you need to unload agricultural equipment in the dead of night? So you think guns? Well, someone's supplying weapons to the insurgents. That's where those machine guns came from yesterday. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Should have been better news. It's good we can cooperate in these matters, but uh, next time you might want to check your facts first, huh? Move. Sergeant, I believe guns were unloaded from that cruiser, and you were the only one we told. Are you suggesting something? Those crates were switched. Are you questioning my integrity? Sergeant? Suddenly, I'm questioning everything. Police corruption isn't the end of the world. Yeah, but it means we're on our own, doesn't it? If it's one rogue cop, we can live with that. It's never one. It's a personal opinion. If it's institutionalised corruption, we're in trouble. It becomes a political problem. And after all, the SAS are training these guys. Either way, I'll report this incident to the Coalition Task Force Headquarters. Look, don't we give way to rank anymore. Her mum emailed, finally. Sal's gone to Perth. To a parent's place. She won't be answering my calls, apparently. At least that's what I'm told. She left me. I mean, she's right, of course. What kind of father can I hope to be when I'm stuck out here most of the time? You know, Swain, my dad was on destroyers. He was away all the time. But when he was home, he was home all the time. And we have a great relationship. I know you're going to have that with Chloe. I know you will. I know you will. Suggest something. Oh, please do. Can you talk to the boss about some R and R? I think some of the crew need it. Trust me. I already have. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've noticed that the crew's morale's really no. low. Very. Yeah. Oh well. Good. Guess we can all do with a break. I totally agree. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Come in. Robert, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about before, man. Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead, but I have to stay. Thanks. Here there, Captain speaking. We'll be closing up specials and proceeding towards Sambong Wharf. Leave will be granted until 1600. The X will post a list of those required on board as duty watch. The rest of you, enjoy yourselves. That's all. Bob, hi, it's, it's Chris, mate. Yeah, no, mate, that's why I'm calling you. You're a dad, you know better than anyone, right? Eddie, here he is. Just a man. 
and you are coming with us. What do you mean? We got a show all evening. We're going to go for a spot of fishing. Pirateini, couple of rods. Mm -hmm. Chill out. You need it. It's going to cheer you up. Guys, I appreciate it, but but no thanks. Really? No. So where are we going? Well, I did promise you an exotic destination. Oh, how covert. Oh, come on, where are we going? Patience. Is that the X in that zodiac? Uh, I don't know. Is it? Where's she going? All the actions in tumbles. Oh, maybe she doesn't think so. $20. Right. Yeah, look, Kathy, you know better than anyone. Yeah, probably better than me. So you'll talk to her, yeah? All right, thanks, mate. Cheers. Bye. Mate, I'm not telling you what to do, but maybe you should give it a rest for a while. Really? Sounds like you're telling me what to do. Well, I'm not. Yeah, well, you just did. Mate, you just need to unwind a bit. Hey, Vanessa, hi. Look, you, um... Whose idea was this? My name's Chris Blake. It's not one of his better ones. No, nah, we're only just fishing, mate. Something's come up. <sighs> I'm just wondering if you... So, I'll, I'll call you back. Hey! What? That's the ute. What ute? What? Oh, God! And this is Sarkis. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. And where are you going to go fishing? I don't know where it's good. Oh, it can be good there. Hey! The men from that ute, did they come here? Sure, they're hireable. Did they have a little boy with them? Yeah, two men and a boy this morning. Which way did they go? Mm. That way, around the island. Take right. Jim, this is beautiful. And it gets better. Follow me. Where are we going? You'll find out when we get there. Um, Jim, <laughs> would there be snakes in here? Hello, Michelle. Oh, thanks for getting back to me, mate. You, you got my message, yeah? Listen, I was just wondering if you could have a chat with Sal and just, I don't know, see if you can work. Hello? Hello? There's a signal. What's the DCO doing about this situation? Defence Community Organisation. You've called them, haven't you? No, I didn't. You're the health and welfare officer and you haven't called the DCO. Yeah, no, I'll definitely give that a go, mate. Cheers. Can we head back, Swaino? This is my one day fishing. What are the chances of finding a tinny out here? Little boy out there, God knows what's happened to him. Right? It's a grey tinny with a black swan emblem. It's just concentrate. It is amazing here. My patrol found it last week. It's perfect. Hey. Is there anything wrong? After all the phone calls and the emailing, it feels funny to be alone together. You know? There's something wrong. Nothing's wrong. Come on! Hurry up! 
those men before. They were unloading weapons from a boat. It's all starting to make sense. They're training the locals. What, mercenaries? Just keep... Can't get much worse than that. You left your bag. Got no weapon, got no radio. So this is what happens when I get romantic. Is this their base? We scoured the area. There was no previous signs of occupation. But there is a clearing downstream. Well, it's remote and quiet. Nobody's going to interrupt them here. I'm oh, stopping. Keep moving. I'll get the police. I'll survive the area. No, I have a few issues with that. Firstly, the police are corrupt, and Sergeant Toker is definitely compromised. And secondly, I'm coming with you. Okay. You are not going to win an argument. I'm coming with okay, you. Okay, shh, shh. Swaino, they don't look like the typical Samaruan to me, mate. Oi, what are we doing? They might be armed. We're not. He's right, mate. We haven't exactly thought this through. He's just a little kid. I mean, do you want to leave him on the island on his own? Of course not. What do you want to do, Swaino? It's your call. We're tourists. We're just fishing. G'day, fellas. Wait. Forget it. I can't search the whole island. Yeah, but he's there somewhere, man. Let's head back to the Hammersley, check in with the boss. He's one of the local kids. We we can't leave him here. Yes, we can. We're totally out. No. no. Stay. Kate, what can we do without support? We need to get out of here. Okay. If you want to go, you go. But I am not leaving here without him. And the boat was here. In the time they've been ashore, I mean, they could have covered quite a bit of territory. Or buried a body. That's a possibility. I recommend we deploy a search party, sir. Oh, that's a pretty big area. Well, sir, you're the one who's always saying we're limited here, but we do what we can. Well, we can do this. Look, we've got another problem. 
The XO hasn't returned from shore leave. That's not like her. Nah, she's like clockwork. I thought she was off getting some basic training with the SAS. <laughs> leave expired 20 minutes ago. She was last seen heading northwest. Let's pipe specials in five minutes. In the yes, meantime, sir. we plot a search plan. I oh, sir. So how did you find the weapons? Look, I promise, I just stumbled on them. Then no one told you where they were? No, I just found them. No one told you? No! You spoke to the Australians. I was only trying to make money. I didn't know. Didn't know? Didn't know the guns were yours. Who do you think they belong to, little pigeon? Huh? The police? The Australians. What did they know? I don't know. But what did you tell them? Nothing. We have to do something. Kate, you know the boy. What? You have feelings. But we have to get out of here. He is just a kid. We cannot leave him here. If we do, they'll kill him. You know that better than anyone. I haven't got a radio. I haven't got a gun. Here, hold this. Oh. Please. They left in the Zodiac. They may be still with it. May have broken down, we just don't know. We'll start with the nearest island. The rope is chafing, hmm? A bit. I can loosen it. If you tell me what the Australians know. Charlie A2, where are you, X? Over. Request immediate support. I can only give you an approximate location. The eastern tip of Baru Island, approximately one mile inland. That's the island suckers on. You two, that way. Almost there, Saka. Not half as glad as I am to see you. Yes, boss. Suck. Good day, mate. Jeez, you get around, don't you? You took your time getting here. He needs plenty of TLC. He's been through a lot. He was being interrogated by the mercenaries. Thanks to our friend Sergeant Toker. That's a pretty safe bet. Sir, the men on the cruiser, they are mercenaries, but they're not just supplying the locals with weapons. They're training them as well. There's no doubt about it. All right, we'd better debrief before I call Navcom. Yes, sir. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Come 
on your misers. It's for a good cause. What's the um, charity? Uh, it's for Saka, and I know you can afford it, because I heard you won big in a poker game. Yeah, don't say that too loud. It's fine. Mm-hmm. 50? Mm-hmm. Very good. Well, I didn't win big in a poker game, and even I can beat that. Keep your charge. Buffer, come on, mate. Your love life's going well. Surely you're feeling a wave of generosity towards your fellow man. Yeah, I'm feeling a wave of something, Swaino. Since when did you become Mother Teresa? Since Semaru Islands, I guess. Thanks, guys. That's great. Oh, Robert. Watch out for the moths, Swain. Come on. Five. <laughs> I've only got 15. Well, come on. Thank you. That's a little bit enough. Cheers, guys. No worries. Huh? Mom! <laughs> Thank you so much. He's a very good boy. You take him home. Thank you. <laughs> Look after yourself. Nothing's going to happen to that boy. Well, I'm sure his mother will take good care of no, him. No, you're not listening to me. Nothing is going to happen to that boy. I'm holding you personally responsible for Saka's welfare. I know your type. I know what you're capable of. Consider this a payment in good faith. Because if anything happens to him, anything, I'll come looking for you. And count on it. Everything all right over there? Yeah, just uh, working with the local authorities, sir. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Bold in front of the crew. Oh, they'll get over it. It's a shame our afternoon was ruined. There'll be plenty more. You promise? Absolutely. You stay safe, yeah? You didn't tell me where you were going. I didn't know. Not very professional. Sir, we're heading home. We don't need another debriefing. It's not a debrief. Sounds like one. Can't I be concerned? Yeah, sure. Just don't make it sound like a debriefing. So you're going to call, um... Oh, sorry, mate. What's her name? Monica. <laughs> yeah, I already have. I'm meeting her at the Imperial. Want to come and have a beer? Meet her? Nah, not right now, mate. What, do you got plans or something? Well, I just... I thought you were supposed to be in Perth. Hug me, you idiot. You didn't need to send me a social worker. Had about 20 people call me all of a sudden. Totally out of the blue. Yeah. Some of them I haven't spoken to for months. And they told me that you called them. I'm sorry, I just... I didn't know what else to do. It was just I, I needed to get some sleep for once. And I did. And now everything's sort of making sense. I can get that short posting if you want. I don't want you to do that. This is your job, I get that, and I, I know how much it means to you. But it has to work for me and Chloe, too.
We've got a lot of work to do, don't we? Yeah, we do. Spoken to her for a while. A long while. She wasn't impressed when I joined the Navy. <laughs> well, she had bigger plans for you. She said if I was gonna nick off and join the Navy, then I shouldn't bother coming back. Ever. That was three years ago. It's unfortunate. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to the galley. Place one layer top side down. It Next. You're up early? Yeah, well, I thought I'd um, make you a brew. Hey, thanks, Spider. Happy birthday. I'll just ditch the gash first. Yeah. Copy. What? Um, I said I'd go with you. I can manage. No, no, we're taking the sunrise together. Yeah, it'll be, uh... What? Romantic. All right, come on then. Hammersley. Uh, Navcom here. Urgent message for Petty Officer Peter Tomaszewski. Yeah, one moment. Permission to go down the boat deck and ditch your cash? Yeah, go ahead. Come on. This is Petty Officer Tomaszewski. Message to call home urgently. Thank you. Yeah, morning, Nav. Sorry to wake you. Can you come to the bridge, take over the watch for me? Right, thanks. How many people get to wake up to a kind of view like this on their 21st? Yeah, it wouldn't be half bad if I didn't have to look at it every other day of my life. Here, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. Hey, hey, some people are still sleeping. Yeah, not for much longer. Oh, oh no. What, what are you doing? My bracelet! No, but Bomber, what are you on? Yeah, it's gonna wash off! Ah, you haven't got a life jacket on. Bomber, Spider, I'm forget the going. bracelet! Go! Oh. Oh.
coming. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, of course. Buffalo will realise when we don't come back inside. You are kidding. My mum gave it to me, all right? Yeah, well, she'd be pleased to know you love her so much you tried to drown one of your mates for Mother, it. this is exactly why we have an officer of the watch. Just keep looking. They'll turn back for us any second. Thanks, Nev. Oh, nothing's changed, but... Is everything OK? Yeah, fine. Are you sure everything's okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, if that's everything, that's my pillow calling. Call her hands, call her hands. Wakey, wakey, wakey. It's not my pillow calling after all. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Nah, it's all right. Choice of fruit salad or fruit salad. All right, steer clear if I were you, then, mate. Stuff will soften your arteries. <laughs> Where is the cook? Oh, this is not on. She's not here, it's just fruit and salad. Good. Need you all in the junior sailor's mess. No problem. No, we're going to sing happy birthday. He's getting weird. Uh... Oh, that looks like horse. Shit. Don't say that. Well, OK, it looks like the product of a horse that ate some birthday candles. You know what? With these things, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, well, this will taste really good. No, oh, it's actually just, it's a bit frozen. How long has it been out? About 45 minutes. You should have taken it out last night. I know. Thanks for that. Ma'am, ma'am, I found some sparklers. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Found them in the store. Um, I, I've rounded up the crew. They're waiting in the junior sailor's mess for your arrival. OK, that's great. Oh, can you get uh, Spider to go and get Bomber? Use lots of sparklers. Yeah. <laughs> See how I've done it? Aaron's son's making them buoyant so they keep me afloat. Yeah, I've got it. You remember? It was in our survival at sea course from the manual. Well, who reads the manual? Just concentrate on what you're doing. It's horrible. This one? Yes. Oh, but they should have turned around by now. Spider. I'm gonna get you out of this, okay? Yeah, have you got a plan? I'm thinking. Maybe that bracelet of yours will place into a dinghy. Ow! That looks like it belongs in a paddock. You could make a Navy cook out of here, man. Thanks very much. It looks like a pile of sh. I can't find her, ma'am, and I've looked everywhere. A spider had Yeah, I can't find spider either. Morning. Oh, morning, boss. Oh, you're right. All quiet last night? Nothing to report, sir. Navcom called. Earlier this morning. And? Just a message for me to call home. Everything all right? Excuse me, sir. Uh, we're having problems locating Spider and Bomber. Oh, I saw them earlier this morning, sir. Bomber came in to ask if she could go out onto the boat deck to ditch the gash and Spider was with her. When did they come in board? What time? I don't recall them coming in board at all. Um... I thought that they must have come in while I was down in Comsen. I didn't know that they were out. Abel Seaman Brown and Seaman Webb, bridge at the rush. Any members of the ship's company who believe they know the whereabouts of these personnel, report to the bridge. Conduct a Williamson turn. Aye, sir. X, do a full search of the ship. Yes, sir. Nav, outline the search yes, area. Sir. If I could have the time, just for the parameters. Approximately 5 a.m. Well, I came in at about 5.30. So it was about 5.15. About. Ah. What? What? Yeah. 
of my leg. What, is it a cramp? I don't know. Take your boots off. I have. Oh, well, just try to stretch it out. No. It hurts more, Bomber. I well, know it hurts, Spider, but you've got to try. You said Buffer would have realised we were going straight away. I know. Well, it's been ages, all right? No one's going to fight us out here. We're going to drown all the sharks again. Spider, you don't think I realise this is serious? And you're right, they should have turned back by now, but the worst thing you can do is panic. You just have to save our energy and make a plan. The animals are strangling me! We'll just get rid of them then, all right? <laughs> Just try to relax for a minute, okay? Please, Spider, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Yeah, it's worked it. for me so far, hasn't it? Spider. <laughs> I'll look after myself. No, you look after me, I'll look after you. That's how this works. Deal? All ships, all ships. This is Australian warship Hammersley. I have two sailors overboard. I say again, two sailors overboard in approximate position 12 degrees 32 minutes south, 135 degrees 12 minutes east. Maintaining listening watch on channel 16. Out. You handed over the watch without telling the navigator you had two sailors outside. Yes, sir. And you didn't... You didn't check if they were back when you returned. I'm sorry, sir, I stuffed up. Buffer. Buffer, what's going on? I stuffed up. I should have checked on him. You don't make those kind of mistakes. What is going on, I want to know. It's my mum. What about your mum? Cancer, and she's at the end. I'm, Beth, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me? Because I'm not a welfare case. Buffer, you've got to tell people stuff. Come on, talk. Can we just stick to finding Spider and Bomber? Of course. Ma'am. We've reached the end of our search area, sir. Thanks, Nav. Been out there a long time, sir. I'm aware of that, right? It's just with the sharks. And the stingers, I mean, they're not wearing stinger suits. Put a it sock really in it, bro. We don't need your grim predictions. <laughs> All right, let's stay focused, everyone. Buffer, we'll reverse course with the ribs on the beams. Increase our lateral search. Let's go. Aye, sir. Can I have a quick word? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sir, Buffer's mother, she's dying. Oh, has he asked for sure leave? And quite the opposite. He feels responsible for Spider and Bomber. I just thought that you should know. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Listen, we can't stop for anything. Every second counts. Bomber's ex. Charlie 82, this is X ray 82. We have bombers overall. Over. Well, now we know we're in the right area. We'll continue our search. Don't you give up on me, 
you doing? No, 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 is that a boat? Is that a boat? Is that a look? No. What a... No. Help! 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 What's going on? They're in the water. Are you crazy? They were drowning. <sighs> Come down here and we'll get you some dry clothes. Come on. <sighs> Can we let them through? Go. You two must be the luckiest people on the planet. Thanks. Thanks so much. Come on, I'll get you some dry clothes. Thanks. Come here. Don't mention the Navy, whatever you do, OK? Just... Oh. I'll save you out there. Finn McLean. <laughs> He's a drug dealer. He escaped from prison about a month ago. The guy that's all over the news. Didn't he kill a guard doing it? He finds out we're Navy. We're dead. Thank you. Just come out when you're ready. No worries. You need to be cool, okay? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. What's McLean doing out here anyway? Trying to get out of the country anyway he can, I suppose. Oh, get rid of those. Uh, maybe it's better if they think someone's looking for us. No way, he doesn't want the authorities anywhere near this boat. Well, we'll talk to them then. We'll ask them to drop us off somewhere or something. How are you going down there? Coming. McLean's a killer. He doesn't bother talking to people that get this way. Give them to me. Ow. Look, you keep you talking to a minimum, OK? Put your head down and we try to contact the ship at ASAP. Yeah, right. Didn't you hear, Gracie? <laughs> Lead the way. Grab a seat. Thanks. Shift up. Sorry? Shift up. Oh. Uh, well, I'm, I'm Billy. This is Rebecca. I'm Gracie. Hi. Hi. G'day. So how'd you get yourself stuck out there? I uh, just came off the back of our boat. Yacht. Yeah. The yacht, yeah, and um, hit a reef and down she went. Bummer. Yeah, bummer, yeah. I've never been on a boat that's sunk before, eh? You've been out there a while? Oh, uh, just before A couple breakfast. of hours? Yeah, a couple of hours. Well, how long ago did you call for help? We didn't get the chance. Didn't get off a mayday signal? No, unfortunately not. So no one knows you're out here? 
Unless he is or not, Rebecca. No. No, no, no one knows. Give them a chance to catch their breath, Finn. Oh, it's, uh, it's nice to meet you, Finn. If we could use your radio, we'll get onto Coastal Patrol and just let them know we sank our boat. Yeah, it's broken there. Oh, right. Um, do you have a mobile or...? Um... <laughs> uh, there's hardly any coverage out here, I'm afraid. <laughs> but uh, Ben will fix the radio for you, won't you, mate? Do my best, mate. Well, if not, maybe we can find somewhere to drop you off along the way. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, where are you guys headed? North. Pretty nice boat you got here, Finn. What do you uh, do for a crust? Finn's just charted it from us. He's on a fishing trip. Yeah, cool. So, where were you two headed? Uh, Papua. Holiday? Honeymoon, yeah. uh, actually. <laughs> right. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Newlyweds. Great. Where'd you meet? Uh, in a restaurant. Um, Beck here is a cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Must have lost your wedding rings. Yeah. Yeah, it's a funny story, actually. Yeah, uh, the groom left a million cab on his bucks night. Yeah, he done me a massive <laughs> night. <laughs> That's a hard one to live down. Yeah, you bet. Lost your wedding rings. Both sinks on your honeymoon. You two were meant to be. Yeah, right. Um, hasn't exactly been a great start, but... No, but we are going to work through it, though, aren't we, Beck? Sure, really. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you could cook me a meal, then. You are a chef? Yeah. You'd be doing me a huge favour. Gracie here can barely open a can of baked beans. <laughs> look, it'll be my pleasure. But maybe we should try to get the radio working first, yeah? Yeah, I'll look, um, I can give it a shot. I'm pretty good with electrics. Yeah. Ben's working on it. Right. Um, well, it's just obviously we're holding you up, so... i just... Food first. Sure. People who ask stupid questions. Yeah, right, don't get snaky, okay? It's not my fault we're in this situation. Just keep it simple. No more surprises like we're on our honeymoon. If in doubt, shut up. Don't say anything. I'm sorry. I just can't lie to save myself. Unfortunately, Spider, this is the one time where you have to. How's my meal coming on? Just reducing the sauce. yourself here, young fella. Becky's a fox. Yeah, she is. Has a way around a puttanesca sauce. Gotta love that. Actually, it's arrabbiata, which is Italian for enraged. My mistake. Look, I don't like people messing around in my kitchen, so why don't you just go and relax and um, we'll bring it down to you. What a chef. Thanks. You know, their radio's not broken, they just don't want us to use it. I thought that was pretty obvious. Mama, I can't do this much longer. We have to get to the radio and call for help. It's the only way. Okay, they picked us up by accident. He's on the run and now we're witnesses. I don't think it's gonna let us go. Obviously. Look, we need to get to the helm and make sure they're all busy long enough for us to get to the radio. Are you got any ideas? I reckon I do. One, two. I could come up with under the circumstances. Hope it's okay. Ah, uh, there's a surfer Ben too. He's busy. Um, yeah. 
Quinn and you were today, Gracie. What's playing? I thought you said you didn't make a Mayday call. No, we didn't. Maybe it's not looking for them. What oh, now? I'm gonna shut the engine down. Just hand, will you? Give me a hand, will you? Fan belt's busted. You tell me you can fix it. I've got a rendezvous to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure I'm gonna spare you some way. What are you looking at? Oh, I know where it is. Okay. Four ships, all ships. Man overboard. What the hell? Be careful, look out for two Navy sailors. Give me the radio. Just get off. Give me the radio now. No, Give it to me. Oh. Four ships, all ships. Man overboard. Please keep a lookout for two Navy sailors, one male, one female. Repeat, two Navy sailors. Please respond. Navy Well, that explains the food. Then do you mind fixing the fan belt? No need for games. I know who you are. You know who I am. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Yep, understood. Ex-Captain. Sir? Ex-Coast Watcher spotted a vessel in the search area. It's not responding to calls. Make an approach. See if they've spotted our sailors. Now we'll give you the directions. Standing by. From your current position, course 280, range 3 miles. Did you copy that? Let's go! Let's get there, righto. Hey, Finn, I don't know about this, mate. Not my problem. Why don't we just drop them off somewhere? Great idea. These two blab to their mates, and you two get charged with conspiracy. Well, what do you suggest we do then? You know what to do. Make sure they never surface. Just make them vanish. But we're not going to tell anyone, we promise. You saved our lives, God. We owe you for that. Please. No, it's not my problem. Who is it? Get down. What is it? Get down. What is it? Navy. Navy for sure. You do. You need to play heavy covers on a fishing trip, right? Get inside. You stay down. Come on. Crazy. Get some time. We have them in our sights. There are two people on board. Make your approach. Get us in there, Rhino! Keep moving. We're moving. Not a sound out of you. You're a legend, aren't you? I'm just a guy with a gun. Come on, Spider. I see, I know you're a good person. He really got all right. No, I should have let you drown. Get upstairs. Afternoon. Coast Watch have been trying to raise you on the radio. Oh, yeah, our radio stuff. Do you mind if we come aboard? Uh, sure. Alone. Is there anyone else on board, sir? Me and the missus. Ma'am, can you come outside, please? What's the problem? 
two sailors have been lost overboard in this area. Jeez, that's a friend of yours or? Fellow sailors, yes. It's terrible. You haven't seen any sign of them at all, have you? No, I'm afraid. Sorry. All right, can you give us any idea of your course? It'll help us with our search. Um, it's on the GPS. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Sir. Yeah, Buffer. There's been another phone call for you from the hospital. And why don't you use my cabin? It'll give you more privacy. Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm Buffer. We can't return to shore until we find our sailors. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. We have done a thorough search of the area. We found the overalls, but we... Do you think it's time we made contact with the families? Mum? Is that you, Peter? Yes, Mum, it's me. Are you getting plenty of rest? I, I wanted to call, to, to say goodbye. You just need to get your strength up. It's all right, Peter. I've accepted this, and I need you to accept it too. You're all right, Mum. Just some healing time, and you'll be OK. I'd like to have seen you just one more time. Look, I'm not sure when... We're in the middle of a search right now. Peter, you'll be OK without me. I wish I was there, Mum. Journal will not shoot itself, apparently. Ro, I've got an off here from Navcom. What do you got there? It's Bomber. Wow. Recorded this for the ship's journal this morning. You're not giving up on them, are you? No, of course I'm not. Okay. Do you want to get this signal off and then report to the bridge for lookout duty? What is that? It's a birthday present. My mum got it for you. I haven't spoken to her for a while. They're on that boat. Ah, uh, uh, And you're sure it's the same bracelet? Absolutely, 100%. Nav, are they still on radar? Yes, sir, they're heading in a northerly direction. And how long will it take us to get there? Uh, at full speed, about 10 minutes. Change course, head directly for that cruiser. Uh, yes, sir. sir. We'll uh, prepare Port for insertion. 10, steer 270. Okay, let's go. Revolutions 2000. Let's go get our people. Drop something. Do you like it? Got it this morning. You keep it a little better on you anyway. 
Please just let us go. Please. Just convince them to drop us off at some land. We're not going to tell anybody. Just say so you drifted about, Gracie. Gracie, don't let them wreck your life like this. Keep your voice down. We'll have to put those gags back on. Oh. It's on 21st. What are you whinging about? You had to go swimming with some new people. Got to tie it up. What would you want? I don't know. I just keep thinking about my mum. Imagine how she'll feel. Don't think like that, Bob. I haven't spoken to her in three years. We had some dumb fight. See, so I never get to speak to her again. And I know you will get to speak to her again. <gasps> yeah, and then you'll probably lose your temper, have a, another argument, and then not speak to her for another three years. <laughs> the way. We look out for each other, right? Yeah. She'll come through any second. Sorry about your mum. Thanks. Uh, leading seaman Robert Dixon, Hammersley. Yep, I've got him with me now. I'll put him on. Dr. Tyler. Peter Tomaszewski. Understand. She was peaceful. Good. You need to get out of here before my husband does something really stupid. Where's Finn? I'll take care of Finn. What are you saying, Gracie? What have they got planned? I'll cop conspiracy, but I won't be an accessory to murder. Quickly. Oh, you, oh, you've got to join my way from the back of the boat. Where do I go? Please, Gracie. Do you hear any spare anchor chain? Yeah, of course. Oh, it being the forward hold, right? So say you need their help to get it out. You want to use it to weigh us down when you throw us over the side so we don't float. I don't think they'll go for that. They will. Yeah, you can do it, Gracie. Come on. Help me! Help me! Please, buddy. Just get out of here, mate. You're out of here! <laughs> Guys, I'm going to use the anchor chain to tie them down. I need your help. Is that OK? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Stand by, wait my order to insert. Roger, sir, standing by, ready to insert. They're heading toward the seaplane, sir. Nav come hard right, let's block its path. Sir? We're gonna box him in against the coastline, prevent him from landing. I'm not getting on that plane with you. You won't be my first! Sweetheart! Hey. 
Coming up to maximum speed, charge. Looking good for 27 knots, sir. Australian Navy, understand? Bracelet. Yeah. Mum gave it to me. You're close to your mum? Yeah. For a minute there, I thought I wasn't going to get the chance to say thank you to her. She made sure it got to me just in time. That was great. Signal in from NAVCOM. Um, Australian Search and Rescue have a distress call in from cargo ship MV Beltane bound for Timor. Well, does also say what code was transmitted? Well, it's just standard EPIRB, then communications ceased. Communications ceased? Hmm. What was Beltane's last known position? Uh, 12 degrees, 20 minutes south, 128 degrees, 13 minutes east. We're the closest asset. You get that, Nav? Yes, sir. Well, let's get there, best speed. Do you hear their captain speaking? We're altering course in response to a distress call from a cargo ship. Expect to be in the ship's position in approximately two hours' time. Phoenix parties to make preparations. You heard the boss. Let's get this recovery line in. Captain speaking. Our target vessel just went down. We'll be searching for survivors. Bring the ship to solar stations. Hands to solar stations, hands to solar stations, hands to solar stations. Stand by to recover personnel from the water by sea boat.
What have we got, Papa? We recovered five bodies, only one survivor. The rest must have gone down with the ship. MO's the same for all five deceased. Point blank range, massive exit wounds. What weapon was used? Heavy caliber handgun, hollow point bullets. This was an execution. What happened, sir? We were hijacked. And they killed all my shipmates. How many? There were nine of us on board, and I'm the only one that got away. It was just before dawn, and I was on watch. Some forward up the port bow, and I heard these running feet. They were on the bridge in what seemed like seconds. I think that's when they killed the skipper and the other bloke on watch. At least I never saw them again. They were just so damn good at what they were doing, you know? It's OK. Take your time. I, I hid. That's the best thing you could do. And you survived to identify them. And he... he found me. It was the, the one who led them aboard. Can you describe him? He was... dark, quite built, and he seemed like he was military trained. Did he speak at all? Eastern European. OK, then what? And they put us to work. They're only interested in this one container, and they're getting us to unload crates from it into their boat. What was in them? I don't know, but real heavy. Could you describe their boat? Mm-hmm. It was a weird, like a pleasure craft, uh, like a Pacini 52. It was uh, gutted to take cargo and painted black and white. Tail sounds familiar. Get the photo. Yeah. All the containers were um, unloaded in their boat. They started hurting us down below, and uh, I just dove overboard and I swam underneath the boat and stayed out of sight. I guess they thought I'd been hit or, or drowned or left to the sharks. <laughs> Mr Pearson, do you recognise this vessel? Yeah, yep, that's it. That's the one. So who are these people? I wish we knew. Mike, the uh, owners claim that the ship was only carrying general cargo. Uh, mostly machine parts. They murdered an entire crew and sank a ship for machine parts. I don't think so. I'm inclined to agree. So what's your reading on it? They were using a Puccini 52, exactly like the one we encountered when Charge was stabbed. And there's another factor. The survivor describes the attackers as mercenary types. And they headed off due east. And what's the significance of that? Well, that's a course that takes them directly to the Samaru Islands. Samaru? So you think there's a connection? So we've established that mercenaries are supplying the insurgents there with stolen arms. Request permission to pursue? Yeah, permission granted. Keep me informed. Take us there, Nav. Steer 090 Revolutions 1800. Steering 090 Revolutions 1800. going after them. Yeah. Seems so. Well, the boss thinks they're heading for Samaru. It's got to be connected. Don't you have, like, cooking things to do? Well, no, it's just the guy that tried to kill you and those men that hijacked Hemsley, they were some kind of mercenaries. Hmm. I don't really care. Look, 
All I'm saying is it's all part of the same thing. Well, I don't believe in conspiracies. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Just my own. Wasn't really hungry anyway. Sir, I've got a radar contact bearing 105, range 7 miles, course 090, speed 18. Where's she heading, Nav? Puts her on a direct course to the Samaru Islands, boss. Bright gets Wayne to bring Mr. Pearson to the bridge at the rush. X Men the Yacht. Mr. Pearson, bridge at the rush. Should be just over the horizon any second now, X. Mm hmm. Okay, I've got her. It's a Puccini 52 painted black. It's the same cruiser, sir. Mr. Pearson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's them. They're the ones that killed my shipmates. Nav pipe boarding stations. Swano on the wheel. Oh, it's sir. Boarding stations, hands boarding stations, assuming damage. 0090, revolutions 80. Of course, 090, revolutions 1800. M1, stood to red 45. Aim at target, Mr. Second warning, Nav. Vessel on my port beam. This is Australian warship. Stop or heave to or I will fire upon you. Vessel's not stopping, sir. Nav, Captain, 50 cal, one short burst. 50 yards ahead of that vessel there. Go on. M1, one short burst. 50 yards ahead of the bow. Engage. The vessel's not stopping, sir. OK, snatch party it is. Insert, insert, insert. Hey, he's got a skipper! Who's the man with the gun? He's the leader. Sir, that's him. It's the guy that stabbed me. Hey, watch him! Bring up the shooter now! This man died! Put your weapon down! Back him up! Take station on my starboard side. Coming hard, Rud. Recover the sea boat. X, this is now. Stand by to recover sea boat. We're discontinuing pursuit. Oh, great. Well, you've got him right there and you're going to let him go. I can't let him kill your skipper. You're not just going to leave him there? Mr. Pearson, it's too risky to attempt a boarding at this stage. Nav, let's shadow them. Yes, sir. Sir, I've got Nav come on the line. Excuse me. Mike Flynn. What's the situation there, Mike? Sir, we've located the vessel, but we've been unable to board because the mercenaries have the Beltane skipper hostage. Request permission to pursue them into Samaruan waters. Mike, the Samaruan Navy have been alerted. I want you to hand over the ship as soon as the vessel is within range. But, sir... I know this is personal to you, Mike, but that's an order. Yes, sir. Understood. Samaru Islands, a government spokesman, Lawrence Siapu, has denied rumours of growing unrest. What our political opponents are calling a riot in the Chinese quarter was merely a burglary. News out of Samaru wasn't great, mate. You were dead right about where the cruiser was headed. Any word on the MV Beltane skipper? But the Samaru police reported finding a body on the beach with a bullet in the head. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Yeah, and also we've been advised by the ship's owners that the Beltane was carrying a container rocket-propelled grenades for the Timorese Defence Force. Now they tell us. Well, it was legitimate, just under tight security. Have you put those papers into the promo board yet? Promotion would mean a shore posting. I was hoping to spend a bit more time with the patrol boat service, sir. Mm. Look, I joined the Navy to be at sea, not to drive a desk. <laughs> what? On me? You mean? Mike, you play the game the right way, you could get command of a frigate. If you don't, that's what it is, right? I'll pass you over. Yes, sir. 
You've seen my report? Yeah, I circulated it to the intelligence agencies. Well, so you agree with my proposed strategy? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. In the past few months, we've been encountering mercenary activity close to our northeast coastline and beyond as far as the Samaru Islands. Okay. Uh, we uh, boarded an FFV here. It's carrying three European males, possibly military trained. Have they escaped? And as we know, charge was stabbed in the process. The mercenary type who hijacked the snake boat was found dead on board here, and we picked up three alleged refugees here from a sand cay. We later tried to hijack the Hammersley, sir. And just a few days ago, the same man who stabbed Charge leads the hijacking of a cargo ship here and murders its crew. Purpose? Acquisition of rocket propelled grenades. Given we know mercenaries are smuggling arms into Samaru and training insurgents there, I believe these incidents are linked. And with the concentration of activity in our waters, I also believe there must be a staging post somewhere along this part of our coastline. Return to Hammersley, we'll move further up the coast. Roger, Charlie. X-ray out. Sir, I've got a radar contact, green 3-0. What's it look like to you now? It's too small to be a cargo ship. It could be a yacht, a motor cruiser, maybe. Well, let's take a look. Cyber 20, altering 315. Got her on the yard, boss. Yeah. Course set, 315. Very good. Well, it's not a Petunia 52. Do you still want to eyeball a boss? You get as close and have. They may have seen something. No harm in asking. HMAS Hammersley, this is Enterprise. Ray Walsman at your service. Ray Walsman? This is Hammersley. Mike Flynn speaking. Nice little runabout you've got there, Ray. Fancy coming to visit? Have a few beers? Tell a few lies? I'll be with you shortly, Ray. Right. Come inside. I'll show you around. <laughs> Carly Walsman. So, Spider, are you going to help me aboard? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> addition to my fleet on our way from Europe as we speak. Go anywhere in this little baby, the right skipper? Well, surely you already have one. Yeah, but I like to have the best. Since I don't have time to train myself to be the best at everything, I like to hire them. I understand that ex-Navy guys make the best skippers. No, if we didn't, there'd be something wrong with the system, wouldn't there? Serious offer, Mike. I know what Lieutenant Commanders have paid. I'll double it, tax-free. That's quite an offer. Work for me, Mike. Spend the rest of your life at sea, taking this little beauty all around the world. Tahiti, the Med, Caribbean. 
You don't have to make a decision right now, but think about it, huh? I will. That cruiser there, that's what, a uh, Puccini 52? Yeah, that was my first boat. A few months ago, she was stolen. Oh. Hello. Oh. 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 Recording. Recording. The spider hasn't got a hope against her. Do you mind? People are trying to concentrate. Oh. Ro. What? Shush. Oh, we picked up something of interest on the yacht. No. Just um, perving on the cruiser, X. Oh, okay. You would have heard of that hijacking of the MV Beltane. Yeah, terrible business. What does this thing do? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Puccini 52, very much like your hey, stolen Dad. boat, was involved in that hijacking oh. and in other similar incidents. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Boat gave us a lot of pleasure. I hate to think we're being used for stuff like that. What's Webb done to his life jacket? Um, uh, miss you know, Spiney's just his fun. Thanks, Ray. Pleasure, Mike. Nice to see you. yourself a mirror and clean it. What? You heard me. Walsman tells me that his new boat's a replacement for one that was stolen. I imagine the theft of that boat would have been reported to the local police. It'd be interesting to know how that investigation's going. Right. On to it, boss. Uh, Ro, I need to send an email from the comm set. X. Take the ship, Nav. On the bridge, Navigator has a ship. Ray Walsman's last boat was stolen. It just happened to be a Puccini 52. Like the one the mercenaries are using? Oh, is that why you asked Swain to talk to his police contacts? If it is Walsman's yacht, then maybe they'll have a lead on who these mercenaries are. Well, you don't think that Walsman is somehow involved in this, do you? <laughs> no way. I admire the man. Mm. As a matter of fact, he's just offered me a job. <laughs> right. Well, you're not considering it, eh? Well, he's ordered a beautiful offshore cruiser, 120 foot, and he wants me to skipper it. You are... you can't be serious. You'd leave the Navy. Well, people do. But not our sort of people. Kate, Marshall wants me to go for a shore posting. Of course, because to get promotion, that's what you have to do. Yeah, well, I've done shore postings before. I hate them. I'd rather be at sea. Well, I just don't understand why you're even considering it, you know. Is it the money? Well, the money'd be good. I don't deny that. But really, it's just about being at sea. Yeah, skip bring a giant plastic bath toy. You sound upset, X. Could it be that you'd miss me? I just think that it would be a terrible waste for the Navy. Well, I'm sure the Navy would appreciate your concern. If I wasn't in the Navy, it would open up certain other possibilities.
Sorry. I, um, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just, um... Getting off watch. Yeah. It's, it's looking good, though, I mean. I actually thought you'd given it away. No, no, just change the venue. Too many, uh, spectators up top. You do realise it's after midnight? You're afraid I'm going to turn into a pumpkin? You know, I think the uh, boss is onto something in that staging post. Could be. Well, it stands to reason, doesn't it, really? You know, no inhabitants to speak of, so no one to see you coming and going. Yeah. Hey, tomorrow's another day, mate. Sooner or later, we're going to find these guys. I hope we don't. Why? Just in no hurry to see those people again. I hope we never find them. Quiet night. I uh, just had a radar contact. We're closing. Not important enough to wake your CO for? Well, it was a poor return and we already had intelligence. You were in the galley. No doubt they told you I was making a mess. <laughs> no comment, boss. We should have the target vessel on the EO at any moment. Here it is. Wow. Look what we've got here. Our old mate, the Puccini 52. Okay, the target vessel has moved behind the island here, which leaves us plenty of room for manoeuvre. Two ribs are to head this way to the east of the island. Once they're in position, up sun from the target vessel, Hammersley will approach from the west and head her off. While they're distracted, you're to move in from behind her and board. Questions? What if they're still tooled up with rocket propelled grenades? Then abort the evolution. But I think those RPGs are now on Semaru, and our target vessel is on its next mission. Any more questions? No, sir. Let's go. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2. Confirm you're underway, over. Captain X, we're underway, over. Captain, copy. Proceed to your designated position. X-ray A2 in position. Roger X, we're on our way. Out. Let's go now. Let's Port get there. 10, steer 010, zero, zero, half ahead both engines, revolutions 1800. Zero, zero. 10 of port wheel on, ma'am, half ahead both engines, revolutions 1800. Zero, zero. I have visual contact. I have a visual X. Stand by. Standing by, sir. They're heading for open water, boss. This is Charlie A2. Insert, insert, insert. This is Australian warship Hammersley. Stop or heave to or I will fire upon you. Turn off the engine and step away from the wheel. Secure the upper deck. Kill the engine and step away from the wheel now. Put your hands where we can see them. Get your hands up. Turn around and lie face down on the floor. Turn around and lie face down on the floor! Yeah. 
I'll be there, Clip! Hey, T, weapons at the ready. Spider, go with ET, search below decks. Weapons at the ready. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Down! And do not move! You again. All clear! Charlie A2, this is X-ray A2. We have one suspect in custody. It's the man who stabbed charge. Deck's all clear. <laughs> Roger, all decks clear. Yeah, go on, try something. Buff up. Go on. Buff up. Captain X, this boat was originally white. The black has been added. I say again, the black has been added. Over. Thanks for that, X. Oh, it's got to be Walsman's. Oh, it's easy enough to check if it is, sir. I could go over there, locate the boat code, and that ought to tell us. Are you sure you want to do that? I'm not afraid of him, if that's what you mean, sir. OK, go. X, send a rib back. Charge is coming across to locate and check the boat code. Over. Roger that. Swain, you want to take your rib back to the Hammersley and collect charge? Hi, right, ma'am. Where are your friends? Charge. Ma'am. Let's find this boat code and see what we've got here. Yes, ma'am. You'll survive, tough guy. <laughs> yeah. I survived. I can smell your fear, cellar boy. <laughs> right on, charge. Be easy, mate. Stop there! Hey! Over. Hey! Over the side! Oh, he's gone, Ed. He's coming back in here now! Hey. Cat Bomber, ET, get up the front! He's got that breathing apparatus, he's gone. He what? He grabbed his diver's belt and rebreather and went over the side. The water's turbulent and we can't see him. Thanks, X. You just made my day. Start a search with both ribs and I'll get back to you. How long does Nitrox last? About two hours? Or oh, possibly three. He's a special forces diver. Well, he's got to be heading for that island. X, leave a skeleton crew aboard the cruiser and return to me to re-equip for a land-based search. If he's not on that island now, he soon will be over. and you know what he's capable of. For this kind of operation, he is better trained than we are. So watch your backs, look after your partners, and be alert at all times. Buffer? Spider XO, Team X-Ray. Swaino, ET, Team Sierra. Bomber with me, Team Bravo. You saw what this guy did to charge. I want your weapons at the ready. We'll search along the beach and try and establish where he came ashore. Team Sierra, head down the beach that way. Team X-Ray, we will head inland. Team Bravo, along the beach. Let's go. Bomber, search that shoreline. I've got your back. Team Sierra, Team Bravo, join me here now. Charlie 8-2, this is X-Ray 
We've got the rebreather. We found some blood. And there's a trail heading inland. Do we follow him, sir? Yes, X. But take care. Will do, sir. Hold it there, spider. We're going to spread out here. We need to try and keep about 20 metres between each team. Sierra, take the left flank. Team X-Ray, we're going to head downstream. And Bravo, you take the right bank. Are there any questions? OK, let's go. You okay? Yeah. That's a pig's paw. Yeah. And you just managed to get your face right in it. Yeah, laugh it up. That's very helpful. It's fine. Yeah. Get yourself up. Hey, watch this bit here, it's slippery. <laughs>
Team X-Ray, Team Sierra, did you fire those shots over? Team Bravo, this is Team Sierra. Negative buff, that wasn't us. Over. Yeah, roger that. Team X-Ray, do you read me over? XO, do you read me over? This is Team X-Ray. I've lost contact with the X. The fugitive has my weapon. I repeat, the fugitive is armed with my weapon. Uh, I saw the X heading uh, north upstream. Over. Yeah, roger that. All teams head north upstream and proceed with caution. Spider, stay where you are. Yeah, this is Team Sierra. Copy that on our way. Making the best speed. Just keep them alive. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, he stabbed you several times. He's murdered the crew of that cargo ship. He's tried to kill the ex. Yeah. Why are we going to all this trouble? And you got some work to do. Yes, ma'am. thinking of quitting the Navy to go and work with him? Thinking of it, yes. Sir, Mr. Walsman did report the theft to police. He's liaising with them now to establish ownership. Right. Thanks, Wayne. Sir. Mike, thanks for getting her back for me. We got lucky. What happened? 
Are there certain security issues here, Ray? I like discretion and people I work with. Look, I appreciate the offer, but I can't give you an answer now. And I will have to finish my current posting here on Hammersley. No problem. Let me know when you've made a decision. Will do. Drink after work? Yeah, why not? You can tell me what Wolfsman had to say. And your answer. <laughs>